Hello. Hello. <laughs> Happy Wen Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? What day are we on? <laughs> what what year is it? <laughs> where, where am I? <laughs> it's Wednesday, right? Yes, it is Wednesday. Hello, friends. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy midweek point for those of you who work a lucrative uh, Monday through through fr Friday job. Or for yeah, some some people do that. What is work? <laughs> You're making fish and chips. Are you making enough for the chat crucifix? I made a steak. I made a juicy steak. New York strip steak for dinner. And it was so good. It was from it was from a happy cow from the farmer's market. What's happening? Oh, I gotta pop the other alerts to too. Socks man! man. Change my subscriber alert. Oh my goodness. Temporarily. Oh my goodness. Against all known laws of thermodynamics, there is no way that shrimp bee is a shrimp. Her lungs can only use weak air and not water. What are these? arms are what too are these that it could not swim fast enough. The shrimp bee, of course. Shrimps anyways, BC shrimp don't care. I like how you've, um, shrimped, you've, you've turned a shrimp into a verb. That's very good. Thank you, Soxman, for the, for the 38 month resub. And the uh, hashtag shrimp facts. I gotta pop the other resubs. We got one from Duncan for the four month resub. You guys be, be subbing during the opening. <laughs> so Is it because you don't want to hear me singing? Is that why? They're like, we must must get in the sub before the stream starts. <laughs> shrimp pipe, shrimp pipe, shrimp pipe, shrimp pipe. Thank you so much to Soxman for the 38 months, to Duncan for the four months, and then to Crucifix as well for the 38 months. You guys get to hear it three times in a row. Thank you, guys. 38 years. 30, 38,000 years. Thank you. Thank you so much. Charlie. Equals W equals. <laughs> I like how it just narrates whatever, like, cute emote you put in. Equals W equals. Hi, Bujanga. How you doing? Good to see ya. Um, hi, Risu. Yeah, I, I need a, I need a haircut. Hello? <laughs> I gotta start charging! This has been a free gun show. I feel like it should be like a shrimp chip reward or something. This, 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 these guns for free should be, uh, <laughs> should be <laughs> profiting off of the guns. <laughs> uh oh, the sloth toy, Soxman. Oh, it's way, oh, it's over there. Soxman. Soxman. May I offer you a better suggestion than the soft toy? I got her two new toys. That's four. I got her two new toys. It's a shrimp. It's, it's, it's a shrimp with little googly eyes. And it's a ghost. Because <laughs> I was feeling like Halloween already. I got this and I got a sweater with ghosts on it. And it's August 25th, so uh, happy Halloween. Frogs, you missed it! You gotta wait, you gotta wait for the next- the next swallow. I'm sorry, that's- I don't make the rules. How you doing, frogs? How's it going? I need to sell a workout program. <laughs> Have like, uh, like a Richard Simmons, uh, v VHS series. How to get these guns. You guys remember Richard Simmons? What happened to Richard Simmons? Gun shows here are eight dollars, for real. Happy Halloween! Should okay. Should we throw her the? Sh okay, let me change the camera so you can see when I throw the shrimp. She probably don't want anything to do with it right now because I think she wants affection. Do you want to do shrimp? You? Ooh, no, no, you don't. She wants to be picked up right now. She she wants to be picked up right now. <laughs> I'm not sure. She's being, being, um, being a hooligan. Look at her naked belly. Look at this freaking potato. Look at this beautiful potato. TOS nipples. <laughs> ah! 
Charlie has to get an MRI of her brain soon. This poor cat has been through every scan imaginable. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, guys, it's been almost a year since her freaking brain surgery. Isn't that nuts? I feel like it was just a couple months ago, but it was October last year. So they want to do a one year scan on her to make sure that the tumor did not come back. But holy shit. Um, Soxman, remind me to play with her when she's in play mode. Is the problem with a 15 year old cat and that command is like she's cannot be bothered to play most of the time. <laughs> she gotta be in the mood. You've been alright, you're looking at some of the new games coming out. Oh, I, did you watch uh, Gamescom? The Ninja Turtle game looks amazing. It looks so good. The pixel art in it is so good and it looks very fluid. There was some weird stuff that they showed at Gamescom. They showed a Valheim expansion trailer, like a DLC trailer with no gameplay whatsoever. It was like an animated Valheim trailer. It was very weird. Doing good, frogs. Good to hear. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. No, don't you push that on me. <laughs> got another, got another, uh, a little, little over six months. I don't want to age any faster. He sweated to the oldies too much. He just, he, uh, he turned into a husk from sweating out all his, uh, he de dehydrated himself. <laughs> He's a puddle. Oh no. Poor Richard Simmons. What does he look like now? I feel like he would look really comical as he aged because he had really crazy hair. Let's see. Richard Simmons today. I hope he's not dead, because that would just be awkward. I hate that. Uh, Richard Simmons. Charlie. You're holding the space bar down, Nugget. Simmons. Okay. Also, guys, are the captions working? There should be a button on the overlay on the bottom right. A CC button, if anyone wants to use captions. I think I finally figured it out. Oh, he just looks like old Richard Simmons. Yeah, he, he legit just looks like really old Richard Simmons. Oh, okay. Well, if anyone wants to see uh, what Richard Simmons looks like. Oh, that link is way too long. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I just <laughs> tried to copy paste the link and it's legit like pages long. Love it. No CC? I swear to God it's there. Let me check. Because I just tested it during um, stream starting. Or at least the overlays there. Because I... Whoa. Stream closed captioner. Yeah, it's there. The overlay's there, at least. But maybe no text. Uh... Oh, I gotta start them. Okay, they should work now. Thank you for checking, guys. I gotta hit the start button. Have you had enough attention? <laughs> <laughs> they should, uh, let me check. Is it working? I got a refresh. Testing, testing, is it working? I've tried so hard to get this shit to work <laughs> and it doesn't. <laughs> oh no. Man, I, le I legit tested it before the stream started, and it doesn't want to work. One more time. Testing, testing, still not working. Settings. Nope. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but... I'm just, I'm irritated because this shit happens all the time. Like, I'll do something before the stream and have it totally on lock. And then when I start streaming, it just doesn't work. <laughs> that irritates me. I don't know what makes it stop. I just want accessibility. Why is it too hard? <laughs> Why is it so hard? Hi, Shoko. How are you doing? Shoko, did you play Psychonauts 1? I feel like it is a game that you would enjoy. And it's always very cheap. Yeah, like the stupid- what the what in the heck? So I put followers only mode on tonight, guys, because I feel like this is the type of game that someone's gonna be an asshole and try to spoil. So hope I put it on for about an hour, so hopefully that's enough to dissuade people. <laughs> but 
I'm kind of anticipating someone to spoil shit. And it also keeps the hate raiders away. That's a real problem that's going on right now. I know some of you guys have already dealt with it. People going around and being awful with bots. She looks less grumpy than the last picture. That's just her face, Risu. She just got grumpy face. That's her normal face. You're looking at the King of Fighters game? Oh, I didn't see that one. The Elheim trailer was so confusing. I suppose the actual content was hard to market because... Yeah, it's, just, it's more of the same, right? They didn't change it up too drastically. Hi, Twi'lek! How are you doing? I still don't know what's up with this, this, uh... This caption. I'm using stream closed capture. It, I, I swear it worked. It's so weird. Alright, I'm gonna turn that off. Stop. Refresh. And then... Turn it on. Nope. Do 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 do. Hello. Hello. Windows noises. I swear this is the hardest shit to get to work for some reason. I don't understand. They just don't want it happening. Hey Panda, how's it going? Scuff streams make you relatable. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that there is some uh, entertainment, entertainment re redeeming value to the scuffed, scuffedness. You don't even remember if you tried it or not, Choco? It feels very much like a PS2 game. But you like Crash, and Crash is like a PS1 game, so... There was a PS1 game, so you might like it. It's very, very, like, early 2000s platformer. And it's very charming. Onlyfollowers.com The a-holes are already here! Oh no! Are you referring to the members of my, my fantastic community, Frogs? Psychonauts was the highly, highly praised game that nobody played. Did no one play it? I thought it was fairly popular. I loved it. I played it on um, PC whenever it was ported. And I think it's aged pretty well. The platforming and combat's kind of janky, but it's very charming, so it kind of outweighs it. And this game looks pretty much like more of the same, only updated a little bit. Yes, you have to follow. You've never seen a hate raid, thankfully. Well, you just gotta look a little harder, Risu. It's a real problem right now, and Twitch is like not addressing it. Yeah, I remember you saying that, Bujanga. Jeez. So what did they do to what'd you do to stop it? I know you can put followers only mode, which is what I did preemptively, but they do it to small streams too, Risu. So there's there are certain pages that okay, this is a spooky thing. There are pages, profile pages channels on Twitch, that if you click on their name and go to their profile, there will be an extension in their channel page that grabs your IP. For some reason, I don't know what they do with it, but I'm assuming that's what they, they something to do with the hate raids. They like log people, <laughs> and I'm not sure how it works. Um, but supposedly they banned the IP logger extensions, but it was some sort of exploit. It's kind of spooky that they're they're doing that. It reminds you of Jack and Daxter, which you loved. Yeah, Shug, it's, it's well worth playing the first one if you can. It's probably on Game Pass, but otherwise, it's like a, I think it's a dollar right now. It's a, I don't think it's that long of a game too. People are taking off Twitch. Oh yeah, September first. Good, good thing you mentioned that, Shoko. So September first is is it'll basically uh. A boycott of Twitch's bullshit for a day. I feel like we need you need to do more than a day to really make an impact on Twitch, but it's better than nothing. Um, but people are the goal is to not stream on September first or watch Twitch and see if you can get Twitch to actually act on stopping their crap. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but it doesn't hurt to try. Hi, Forever Rotting! How you doing? Yeah, it's it's definitely reached the point where people need to do something to push Twitch, because they never do anything on their own. You never cared for the Psychonauts character designs. What about them, Nefreen? They're charmingly ugly. They kind of remind me of something like a Tim Burton, like Tim Burton creations, mixed with maybe a Bratz doll. <laughs> but 
<laughs> their proportions are kind of funny, but they're very the um the whole the game kind of reminds me of a, a Nicktoon or like early two thousands Nickelodeon stuff because it might partly be because um Raz's voice is Richard Hor Hornet, who also did the voice of Invader Sim and Daggett from Angry Beavers and. The Alpha 5 from Power Rangers, like, danger, danger, <laughs> he's done a lot of voices of, like, 90s and 2000s stuff that I grew up with, so just having that character in there kind of makes me associate it with that stuff. He's such a good voice actor. But yeah, the, the characters are, are uh, kind of ugly, but it's intentional. <laughs> Jack and Daxter was cool. The, the PS2 era had so many, so many uh, memorable platformers to it. You got Jack and Daxter, you got um, Sly Cooper, you had Ratchet and Clank, or a few others too. And I guess if you count the PS1, you had Spyro, Crash. You put it in followers only, three months slow chat, unique chat. What's unique chat? Is it you can't type the same thing multiple times? You went on a banning spree. <laughs> well, good on you for getting under control. It's it seems like a pain to deal with. What's up, Papa? Oh, do we, do we have a dad joke? You got fired from your job at the bank. An elderly lady asked you to check her balance, so you pu you push her over. Oh no! I did not condone pushing the elderly. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Um, as much as much as you may may want to push the elderly, sometimes <laughs> if they're being jerks, do not do not condone. Um, but yeah, how you doing tonight? What are we protesting? Uh, Twitch doing absolutely fuck all to stop hate raids, which are very disruptive for many people's channels at this point in time. They don't. They could give people tools to deal with it or directly address it or do something, but they do their typical where they tweet. We know we've, we've uh, not addressed this properly, and we're committed to do better, and then they do nothing. They do, they, do that. they do that with so many issues, like they fuck up and then they ask for, ask for uh, forgiveness later. You like my bath on that? Thanks for noticing. I can't show it up close because there's nipples on it, and it's probably, probably TOS, so we have like slightly um, artistically censored Baphomet with the camera blur. <laughs> We gotta get Baffa Metal a bra. <laughs> you banned over a hundred accounts. See, you should not have to do that, Bujanga. That's the problem. Like, the, this is the thing. Mods should not have to ban a hundred accounts for the streamer to feel comfortable. <laughs> Twitch should, uh, should, should, uh, make that, uh, not a thing. That needs to happen. Zim is so good. Is, did any of you guys watch the movie? The newer movie? I, I didn't watch the Netflix movie. It's like enter the florpus or something. Hi, Silent Killer. I've been alive, kind of. Uh, I've been streaming, kind of. <laughs> How you doing? The Nickelodeon fighting game that has Zam. Wait, what? What? It's not in mod view yet. Sadly, you have to type the command in. Just meant to keep up. The image. Oh, that scared the shit <laughs> out of me. <laughs> That scared me. <laughs> what frog? What frog? I'm so confused. Hot business idea. Retirement home trust fall instructor. The, the physical therapist uh, tag team with them. <laughs> it does have nipples on it. I like, you guys like how it's like casually, I'm um, just chilling with Turnip Boy. It's very wholesome. It's a wholesome stream. I do have electrical tape that I could just wrap around it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pushing I'm just pushing a line here. We'll see how long till I get banned for my Baphomet. Some some angry uh, religious person <laughs> reports me. You've fallen asleep to it twice? That's a, that is a rave review for the new Sim movie. It's not new at this point, right? It's been out a couple years. For the guns! The guns? What guns? This is a gun, a gun, uh, gun, gun safe zone. 
<laughs> you wait to watch things until you're ready for bed. Oh yeah, that'll do it. I thought I thought it might be because it was boring. I don't tend to tend to watch much much stuff. No, I don't watch a lot of a lot of TV or anything lately. Some of them will try to use your on-screen notifications against you. Guess what? That's why I did this. Oh my god! That's my follower alert, and it's totally anonymous. One, because lurkers don't want to be called out when they're following. Two, because people make dumb shit names and then follow the channel and try to get the streamer to read them out, and I don't find that amusing. So, I did that to completely circumvent that issue, and it's worked very well so far. I would highly recommend any streamers make your follower alerts anonymous, because there really isn't a downside to it. Like, if a person is sad that you didn't call them out by name, <laughs> that's just kind of, kind of sad. Why are my dang closed captions still not working? I got the thing on. Twitch extension captions on. WebSocket on, and it started. Oh, Will. Oh, Will, we tried. You'll get banned for a Kirby Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo gonna dim come a Kirby flash? How does that make sense? <laughs> oh, or the, uh, the raid alert? I do wonder sometimes, because the raid alert is curb music, if that will... that will eventually trigger copyright alert. What's up, Elliot? Thomas from Persona? Oh, that thing? Yeah, I guess I, I guess there's, there's like, Baphometti type stuff in Persona, right? I haven't played a Persona game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what the- what the heck? It's on. They're gonna DMCA my plushies! Yeah, people- people, like, I don't understand why people do hate raids. Does it make them feel good about themselves? Like, <laughs> I really don't understand. They just, like, and just trolling in general. Like, do people not have jobs? Do they not have some, like, better things to do with their time? I got the cutest little coasters, by the way. I think I think you guys gotta see these coasters. Look at look, look at these coasters. They're little they're little jellyfish. <laughs> they're little oh. smiley jellyfish. <laughs> ah. They're very good. Oh, Baphomet is in Persona 5. That's, that's not surprising. <laughs> Sad people who don't know how to get attention. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's better that they are trolling on Twitch instead of doing something totally heinous in real life. I feel like there might be. It might be an overlap between people who troll on Twitch and do commit other uh, unsavory things outside of Twitch. Nice Rastro! Thank you! Thank you. I got it on Fangamer. Um... It's very, it's very comfy. Fan Gamer has good shirts. They're kind of expensive though. I like the Yeti, mostly for shirts because they're pretty reasonable price. Still looking at this freaking captions thing. Maybe I gotta not do uh, app blocker is not on. Caption setting. Cancel. Install the Twitch extension. Update your language. What the heck? This page is accessing your microphone. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I had an epiphany. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna reset it. I think I had an epiphany of something stupid hidden in Google Chrome. <laughs> wait a minute. For some reason, it's making my... <gasps> I fixed it! I fixed it! It was making my microphone default set to my controller. Why? <laughs> it was, uh, you know, I didn't realize on Chrome there's a little bar, um, there's a little, like, video icon next to the URL that shows what your microphone source is that it's using. Cool! So if anyone wants closed captions, they finally work. I don't know how accurate they are, but... They're good for people who are hard of hearing and for people who need to meet the stream if they're working. So, good to have all around. 
You think they do stuff outside of Twitch? Probably not. You have a, you have a point. <laughs> they do stuff on Twitter, too. There are so many trolls on Twitter. I don't usually report people, but on Twitter, I have reported several people because they actually... Twitter actually does stuff about reports, for the most part, I've noticed. So Facebook does fuck all. I've had people... Like, I've reported people on Facebook for saying the most, like, transphobic, racist shit. And Facebook is like, oh, you can block them. <laughs> they do not, they don't ban. They just tell you to block them. I hate Facebook. Windows will do that every time you plug a controller in. It detects a new device and assumes you want to use it. Yeah, is there a way to stop that from happening? Because I absolutely never want to use my controller as a microphone. <laughs> I don't understand. Can you, I guess it has a microphone. This has a microphone on it somehow. Is it this? This is. I thought this was the speaker. Can you speak into this and it recognizes your voice? I feel like that is not a thing. <laughs> the, the DS4? Does it have a microphone in it? That's weird. You've never reported for comments, but you have Facebook reported and got them banned. Excuse me for those. Wait, sex scam bots? You get spicy. You get spicy trolls on Facebook songs, but I've never seen those. What do they do? Sex scam bots? Do they DM or do they post? There are I have I have seen bots on Facebook that post stuff like pretending they know someone in the comments to try to get them to message them and then do a phishing scam. But outside of that, nothing too exciting. Just a lot of racism. There's a lot of racist people on Facebook. You can disable it. Well, I will have to look into it because absolutely never going to use it as a microphone. <laughs> hey, hobo. How you doing? How's it going? Happy Wednesday. You may be disa if able to disable the audio object in the control panel for mics. Not sure. Because the problem is, like, un I think it, it, I unplug it and replug it too much. I don't know if you have to leave it plugged in to do that. Or if you can make it so when you plug it in again, it stops it from happening. It's just racy photos that follow. And their page is always, click my link for more photos. There's a lot of those on Twitter, too. Like, I'll, there's a lot, and they're not definitely not real people. <laughs> like, some of them are so creepy. They're like, they look like anime girls. They're clearly horribly photoshopped with, like, big alien eyes. I don't know why they think that's attractive, or that'll get people to click on them. <laughs> I'm not sure. And also, they come up- I don't know why, because I don't- I swear I don't click on that stuff. But they come up in the Twitter suggestions too, so it'll be like, We, we think you may like this, and it'll be just like a cr close-up cropped thumbnail of someone's tits. Like, th thank you! Thank you, Twitter! <laughs> you, sh you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have done that. Sometimes they suggest good things. Not usually. But <laughs> a lot of people call other snowflakes for not picking up- putting up with the hate raids. Even if you weren't bothered by the hate raids and what they're doing, which is malicious and awful, it's still disruptive to a chat to have this shit, like, spammed. So even if you were, like, being targeted for hate, it's, it's, regardless, like, the snowflake thing's just stupid. Don't know why you never use Facebook, same. Facebook is a shithole. It's all boomer moms on it now. Ba back in my day, you needed a college email address to sign up for Facebook. And that was that was the only people that was on Facebook was college kids. I was one of the first generations, I guess, to use Facebook. But like, I remember the whole transition from MySpace to Facebook when I went from high school to college. When did Facebook start? Facebook. Uh, created. 2003, so that's earlier than I thought. I went, I went to college in 2006, so it had been out for three years before then. Apparently. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg doing his thing. You know, I read something... 
The other day saying that Mark Zuckerberg holds like something like 90% of all millennial wealth. Like 90% of the entire amount of money in the millennial generation is held by one person. But I guess that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's like just saying he's uh he's quite wealthy or every, the rest of us are just very poor in comparison it seems slightly imbalanced i don't know how they they got this statistic but you started watching hunter x hunter so you're a weeb now you have failed your people are you watching the new one or the old one Soxman? and also if you become a hunter x hunter fan be ready to hate everything because it will never be finished the uh, the creator has always struggled to put stuff out on time because he has he get, has health issues, so he tries to <laughs> tries to pace himself. But people constantly demand more, so uh, yeah, that's been an ongoing situation with Hunter X Hunter. Is very long delays between, at least in the manga. I don't know. If, I don't know about the anime. Jack Dorsey spreading them titties. <laughs> When he used to be on Facebook, they suggested you join the Sons of the Confederates group. Speaking of the Sons of the Confederates, did I tell you my cousin is dating a man that has a Confederate flag picture on his Facebook profile? Seems like a winner! Seems like a winner. He's got a Confederate flag picture, and the la uh, last picture I saw of him had a shirt that said, Fuck your feelings, and it had a stick figure, like, humping the F in, in the word fuck. So he's he seems like a real winner. <laughs> she has not the best taste in man. <laughs> he's rich and we're poor. I wish should we I wish he would uh, share the share the wealth. Please, please Zuckerberg. Can't cook the Zuck. He is a lizard person too, so his money can't stop that, I guess. There is a downside. He <laughs> seems like a stable person. And the creepiest part is, so she was in a shitty, she was in a shitty relationship before that for years. And this man, who she was friends with, was waiting for her the whole time, like pining after her till she got out of the relationship. So that is, just, for me, personally, that's just like red flag, red flag, red flag, <laughs> red flag, get out. <laughs> The combination of things is not good. You don't want someone who's obsessed with you. That's creepy, but she seems happy, so hopefully she doesn't get knocked up because um I feel like she may regret her choice at some point, but right now she's in that like that whole uh happy hormones honeymoon phase. Cause it must be it's all about micro dicks. I do not know anything about the size uh, of, of this man, but uh, yeah, he seems like he may be compensating for something. Does his uncle sister have a good personality, though? What? <laughs> what I miss? That's exactly the kind of person who loses their shit when they get their feelings hurt. Anyone who says fuck your feelings is just an asshole by default. Like, that's, it, it's just, especially because he's in his 30s. This is not a young man. He's probably like 35, but seems like a teenager. I just don't understand how people turn into that. But how, how, do you, how do you reach that state in your life? Red state, red flag. No, he's, a, he's in Massachusetts. That's the sad part. <laughs> but yeah, he has the Confederate flag, if that's what you mean. She's dating him for his truck accent. <laughs> she needs to move furniture. She's already basically moved in with him and they've been dating a few months. To be fair, to be fair to this man, he seems like he treats her better than any other person she's been with, but that is a very low bar. They met on a dating site where red flags are considered a good trait. No, unfortunately they met in person. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a person she's known for a long time, but didn't want to date until she was uh, recently broken up from an awful relationship and uh, decided to go right into a rebound. <laughs> oh. And it sucks because I'm the type of person that would tell her, like, honey, you're... 
you don't know what you're getting into with this, but she's so smitten, it's hard. I've, I've always been honest with her about the, the quality of uh, men that she has choosa chosen, because she's always had issues about with them. Rebounds always work out well, aren't they great? <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend. Hi, Balis. How you doing? I understood the sarcasm, Risu. They are good for certain things. Like, probably one night stands. I'm sure they're fine. Long term relationships? No. Don't do that. You've had terrible relationships. Sucks, man. It'll get better. See, the thing is, it, like, my ex boyfriend was a piece of shit, too. So, <laughs> um,. No, it's, it's, the thing is, like, it's, it's just always a learning experience. So, it, as much as it sucked at the time, now you know what you don't want, and now you know the warning signs. So it's like you leveled up. <laughs> like, my ex-boyfriend, if, like, my ex-boyfriend was my college boyfriend. He, like, he was like he was al he was an alcoholic. He wasn't abusive, but he was definitely an alcoholic, and that's something I would never tolerate again in a relationship because he was just like not present most of the time. Like we would go to parties and he would just be so blackout drunk, like puking in the bathroom, and it was it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. So I know now that's uh that's not something I would ever tolerate. And fortunately, age is a lightweight, and he has like one cider, and he's like I'm tipsy. <laughs> I'm tipsy with one cider. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, the, the ex-boyfriend is kind of, like, looking back, it's kind of sad. Like, he he had a problem. He would go, we went to Anime Boston, and he, he brought a flask with him so he could drink at Anime Boston. That's when you know you have a drinking problem. <laughs> like, you can't even, you can't even get through that. And at the time, I, did, I didn't think, yeah, this is fucked up. But it is. Trippy has no geriatrics on her dating profile, so no one over 40. Oh my god. I'm not- I have a boyfriend. I'm not- I don't have a dating profile, but if I were to date, I wouldn't, wouldn't think that a 40 is geriatric as a 33-year-old. <laughs> All relationships are terrible. Most of them. Dating in your 30s is absolutely trash, Hobo. Because you get all the single ladies with the, the, the like, five kids looking for a new baby daddy. And it's the problem. Your time in the army kind of made your relationship adverse, especially when you come home from overseas and you see the psycho show. Yeah, that's a whole other dynamic, Panda, for sure. Absolutely. Like, long distance relationships are hard enough on their own, but with deployment being so uncertain, that will <laughs> really, that'll stress even the strongest relationship, I think. Welcome to Relationship Talk. This is a good precursor to Psychonauts, which is a game about diving into people's uh subconscious and sorting through their their emotional baggage <laughs> this, is, this is good there are a mountain of people that just want to accumulate shit like six percent of people actually trying to build some wealth an emergency flask you can never be too careful you can never be sober for uh anything more than a couple of a couple of hours at a time in his case you're gonna make some kimchi fried rice and go to bed. Okay, Hobo, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by and enjoy that delicious kimchi fried fried rice. I'm a little I'm a little jealous. That sounds very good. Kimchi is amazing. Kimchi. I don't know if I've just had bad kimchi because it's it tastes amazing, but it's it always smells horrible. Like every single kimchi I've had has smelled like room clearing, room clearingly horrible, but it's tasted good. I don't know if that's uh, bog standard kimchi. I am 33 and I'm going to be 34 in March. Why? What? Uh, what, are you, what are you trying to say? Huh? Neuro! Hi! How you doing? I'm not single surprise. <laughs> surprise! Uh, if, uh, unfortunately, I'm dating age. <laughs> I think a lot of people think age and I met on Switch. We did not. But uh yeah we met we met on um we met on OkCupid back in the day. 
when it wasn't a shithole. I guess it was, it's always kind of been a shithole, but, like, less of a shithole? Um, like, ten years ago, I think. I don't know, it's been, it's been a very long time. <laughs> oh, he sent me a ridiculous age style message on OkCupid okay and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll go on a date with this guy. That was the one person I dated from that website. I got so many shit messages. <laughs> I know it's hard for guys on the online dating sites, but good lord, the messages you get as a lady. Oh lord, hi honey Michelle, how you doing? What you puking about, kimchi? What the what's why are you puking? They call me an airport with all my baggage. Well, depending on the airport, you can lose it. You can uh, count on it getting lost, so that might be a good thing. You would not be able to stay in a long-distance relationship. You need that together time. Yeah, and it's good that you know that, because some people don't know that until they're in one, and they're like, well, this isn't gonna work, and then you have an awkward, uh, you have an awkward breakup. But, um, I personally am okay with long distance to an extent like H and I don't live super close to each other but we're within driving distance in a reasonable amount of time and that works well for me I need a lot I need a lot of space and a lot of people are not okay with that in relationships like there are people that like they want someone to be attached at the hip too and I could never do that that would drive me nuts Kim kimchi's supposed to smell bad. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know, Panda. Because I thought I was just eating some part kimchi. You dropped your carrot. Oh, five second rule. Carrots are naturally antibacterial, Reese, so it's probably fine. That's why they take forever to rot. Long distance was what broke up your only good relationship. It wasn't even that far. That, as much as that sucks, Soxman, if it was just the distance, that relationship probably would not last. If it was not a far distance, there were probably uh, there was probably something else, even if it wasn't as obvious. Because if it's the right relationship, then a small, like a sh mid-range distance wouldn't matter too much. Am I actually the oldest streamer you watch? For real? Frogs, I thought you were like 30. You're not that much younger than me. <laughs> Frog's over here trying to make me feel ancient. Puking about everything. An autobiography by Onimusha. <laughs> Puking about everything. <laughs> I'm so old. No, but for real though, if you go if you go on the social media sites that the youngins use, like TikTok. They joke about millennials being ancient. Like, they don't understand that your 30s are not that old and they're gonna be there pretty soon. They don't get it. Them kids. Anyway, should I play some Psychonauts? It's been, an, it's been uh, 49 minutes. Hopefully, I, I, I tried to... I tried to... test it before because this is slightly more taxing than the stuff i normally stream and it lagged a little bit but i think it was the game and not my computer i think the game is a little little uh frame droppy in certain parts but it looks really good 133 hours panda i gotta stream more that's gonna take 10 years for you to get <laughs> to reach kaiju if so if an average stream is four hours that'll that'll take legitimately months um <laughs> Shrimp live up to six years, dang. Is that, I guess those are the jumbo shrimp. You're old? Surprise. You've been 40 since you were 23. Yeah, I felt like I've always felt older than I am. Even as a kid, I didn't really wanna. I didn't, I, I kinda got annoyed by kids my age a lot of the time. I just wanted to be left alone. <laughs> to read or do something else. I was a grumpy old lady as a child. Thanks for the bud bits. Thank you. It definitely had other issues, but emotional abusive cheater. Persuading people to hurt them. What? Okay. okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But Saxon, you're you're at a good age to date. Like your twenties. Like any of you guys in your twenties. It's not not to be not to be pessimistic. It's not gonna get better in your 30s, so 
<laughs> you might want to go for it in your 20s. Because your 30s, you're just going to get, like I was saying earlier, you're going get, to get all the single moms. And it's the same thing for women dating. You're going to get all the single dads and they're looking for the people to parent their children. <laughs> A lot of them, it's hard to like find someone who doesn't have kids from what I've heard of people's horror stories dating in their 30s. And it's fine if people have kids. If they want to be a step-parent, that's cool. But a lot of times you don't want to go into a relationship with someone who already has baggage and is attached to another person for the rest of their life because they had kids with them. So I do not envy people in that situation. You run in circles around people a lot younger than you. You get called old a lot by some of the people you used to work with. Rude! You watched the Monster Hunter movie on Netflix and it's definitely aimed at kids. Interesting! I heard that the pacing was kind of bad in that it's mostly just a love letter to For You, which is kind of good, but weird that they released it now because the games that were popular were Monster Hunter World and Rise, and it kind of has nothing to do with them. Like, the monsters aren't in those games that are in the movie. Definitely not giving up or anything, still going strong. So, like, what? Do, how do people even date anymore? Like, okay, Cupid was easy. Okay, Cupid was stupid because it was like you would take a quiz and have some answers in common with someone and it would be like, you guys are a 95% match. And statistically, your relationship would be good. But at the same time, it didn't have the issues that Tinder does where a lot of people are just looking for hookups. Like, there are some people, but the fact that you had to really kind of fill out these quizzes and do these profiles made it a little less of a hookup site. It's their fault for naming the kid Baggage Baggage? I'm sorry, that'd be, that'd be a hilarious name for a child. <laughs> You're a prime dating target at 45, never been married, no children. There's probably someone out there looking for that right now, Duncan. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have no idea how people date. Dating seems miserable, just kind of in general. <laughs> the dating part is hard. The, the relationship part is also hard. But the dating part, just uh, all of the kind of, not rituals, I don't know what you would call them. There's just a lot of mind games to it. It's, it's like, maybe it's better as you get older and people know what they want more, but I feel like there's all these, like, <laughs> Things that people overthink or, like, and no, like you don't want to text them back too soon because they might think you're desperate, like that type of stuff, when realistically you should just be yourself because it's way too much energy to be anyone else. And you'll find the right person that way. Or not. You can be comfortable either way. How's that a tie-in with uh, Monster Hunter World? So Tinder, yeah, Tinder is definitely geared towards hookups. What about Bumble? I heard Bumble is like slightly better than Tinder for people dating. There's Bumble and then another one. I think it was Bumble. Bumble is like slightly more PG Tinder. <laughs> it's so crazy with all these apps now. It's so foreign to me. And especially now during the pandemic, like you don't want to get like... Hookups are <laughs> hookups are scary enough. Like dating is scary enough outside of the pandemic. Now it's like you could get an STD and the Rona at the same time, and dumped in an alley, depending on like <laughs> depending on who you're going on a on a date with. I mean, it's so I'm sure it's very exciting. It's all oh yeah the so the redhead guy so the excitable a lister is a character in for you. He's, uh, he's kind of a recurring character throughout all the games. Or at least, uh, for you through the others. I don't know why. He's, he's, he's kind of obnoxious, but there's a lot of rules. Hi, man, peas. Dating. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe some, I feel like some people like dating. Some people like the attention that they get from a new partner and, and learning about them and... And, uh, the, the whole uh, rush of, like, a new relationship. Some people like that stuff, I guess. Hinge. Oh, I haven't heard of Hinge. Interesting. Well, it's good that there's options outside of Tinder. Humble 
is nice since the girls- Oh, the girls talk first. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Again, that is a situation because of the stupid dating norms. <laughs> I like that it is subverting the dating norm of the guy having to initiate things. But, yeah, that could be a problem because it's so ingrained in people that, uh, no one takes the initiative. <laughs> Dumped in an alley and missing your kidneys. Yes, selling, uh, selling your kidneys on the black market. You're not used to Tinder. It's about him and it starts, oh, it starts, oh, on the fifth fleet ship. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So it's kind of like a bridge between for you and world somehow. You love being ghosted. People who ghost, regardless of the situation that they're ghosting in, are usually just, they have their own issues, has been my experience. I've been ghosted by a couple of people on Twitch, actually. Um, still not sure why with one of them, but I think he had his own issues. The former, uh, former mod ghosted. I'm pretty sure after I was poking fun at him for being an asshole. Uh in Magic the Gathering. I think he was very sensitive and ghosted me after that. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was starting to learn how to play Magic the Gathering Arena, and he was playing with me just for fun, and he used this like fucking like busted all this powerful cards deck. It was basically bullying. <laughs> With me with my little starter deck, so I called him out on it, and then he he disappeared after that. I was like, what? And this was someone who had been a mod and watched the stream for years? So there are a lot of, like, really fragile people that ghost for very, like, limited reasons that don't really have anything to do with you, I think. Your current ex is shit talking you in Russian about something you have no control over. Interesting. That's uh, that's creative with the with the Russian. Can't talk to a lady till she talks to you. Hmm. Ghost ghosting is the opposite of stalking. Ghosting is when someone disappears after you've been talking with them or friends with them or dating them. They just completely disappear without any notice. You ghost me all the time. Trippy ghost. I have a ghost. ASMR. <laughs> this is the only good ghosting. <laughs> this is the only good ghosting. Woo! Woo! Have you ever heard of speedrunning? Hello. Goodbye. So you, you, people, when you start conversations about certain topics, just disappear? I think... I'm guessing I'm not a. I've not uh, attempted to initiate a relationship with a woman. I've not tried to date a woman, but I'm guessing as a guy trying to date a woman, you want to ask them more about themselves. I think probably in general that's a good rule for dating uh, to ask them more about themselves, and then if you want to get into the other stuff about your hobbies or stuff you're interesting interested in, are you being facetious? Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because there are some people who generally would like use that as an opener. Like, gen genuinely would use that as an opener in a conversation, and then be like, bye! <laughs> okay, bye! You tried to go shrimpy, but there was too much ectoplasm, so you had to go to the shower. Ectoplasm's a real mess, huh? You had friends that do that, sadly, only one- One would only want to talk. They were either in the middle of a breakup or just having a bad time. If they're happy, you can't get the time of day. You dodged a bullet, Bushanga. Gross. <laughs> you and, uh, emotionally needy friends like that that are trying to trying to make it something else just when they need you. Gross. What's up, Nate? Never a better time to experiment in the middle of a pandemic. In the middle of the pandemic. <laughs> in the middle of the global panini. Is a good time. You gotta, like, freaking put a hazmat suit on when you go on your Tinder date. You like tacos better than ectoplasm. What about ecto cooler? A good date is when the woman does all the talking. Malice, I don't know if you have a girlfriend, but I hope you find your extrovert. I hope you find the extrovert of your dreams if you do not. 
<laughs> that is de that's definitely an introvert extrovert dynamic because I would be totally okay. Like age t age talks a lot, so it works out. Age is an extrovert, but I, f I feel like that's generally a good pairing if if uh, an introvert and an extrovert are together. Because if you get two introverts, it's not a lot of talking, and if there's two extroverts, it's uh you talk over each other. So, Karakon, no you, no you cute. How you doing? <laughs> I need Shoko Zemo. <laughs> I don't think I have a Shoko sub. Gotta, gotta know you. Know you. So good. You'd only consider it ghosting if we've been talking to someone at length. Or we've been on a date and they just vanish. Yeah. True if you're just kind of starting up a conversation. That's not so much ghosting as uh, do not continue this, this conversation with me. <laughs> but yeah, ghosting is more like you've started to establish a relationship with them, even if it's not a romantic one, a friendship relationship. And then they just don't give you the time of day. I, I just, ghosting particularly bothers me because I'm the type of person that is blunt with people and will tell them when I have an issue with them. <laughs> and ghosting is uh, the opposite of that. But again, it's more on the person who's doing the ghosting than the person that is being ghosted. That's on their own inability to deal with people. Fully vexed or I'm out. <laughs> it's one of the. That's just, I wonder if I could make that a requirement on the uh, the like Tinder or something. Just have a checkbox on your profile if you're vexed. That'd be pretty funny. Of course, you never learn why. It's not like they ever leave anonymous feedback, so you're none the wiser. Yeah, that's part of the problem, too, that's annoying about it. Like, if you want to be a good person, just tell someone what your issue is with them. <laughs> but they don't care. Just tell them. Like, let's, uh... So they can improve. It's very text heavy and interactive. I'm sorry, I'll start the video game. Oh, it's a bit reward. I'll have to look. I use it so much on Discord, so I don't, like, so I don't know. No, you thank you, Shoko. It's a bit reward. Cool. It's very cute. It's it's a, whoa, it's a really good emo. Very good. Shoko, when were you playing Seed of Life? When were you pl when did you play it? Did I miss it? Or is that spoilers for incoming Shoko stream? Thank you for the shout out, Oni Musha. Oh, the brushing! Uh-oh, I gotta wake Charlie up. I gotta wake her up. Hopefully she's okay with this. Oh, he's playing tonight! Ooh! Nice! If I'm- if I am streaming, I will host him. But, or- oh no, you're trolling. Okay, never mind. Garkum's Gar just- Garkum's just trolling. I'm gonna try to put her on my lap. If anyone out there is watching the stream and can't chat, I'm sorry. I have it in followers-only mode to discourage hate raids and spoilers at the moment. I don't do that to like get people to follow, but I feel like this is the type of game where it's been so anticipated for a long period of time that people are gonna be assholes and spoil things. Charlie! Are you deceased? Lady Charles. Deceased. Oh, creepy girl. Alright, I got you, boo. I need more hands. <laughs> I got you, honey. You're not gonna fall. Okay. Charlie! Charlie! To the brush cam. I look so, like, pallid on this camera. <laughs> oh. Yeah, hate rates are a problem. We were talking about them earlier. It's bots that just target, like, certain um, races or sexualities or, like, transgender people. And just bot spam hateful messages. It's really obnoxious. Look at this little potato. 
And there's also another bot that tries to get people's IP addresses through a bug Twitch extension. Hi, Sun Sundere. How are you doing? <laughs> this one doesn't have Jack Black in it. This isn't uh, Full Throttle. Is it fu not Full Throttle? What was the... Not Full Throttle. What was the game? What the heck was the... the, the I know the exact game you're talking about, but my mind is blanking. Brutal Legend. It was Brutal Legend. <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna freak out. Yes, that was a cool game. That was a cool premise for a game. It was kind of weird though, because wasn't it like a tactical game? You had to like manage your mob of rockers. He did say he was going live tonight, Shoko. Are you disappointing your adoring fans, Shoko? Look at this freaking only. She's the best. Like, I woke her up from her peaceful slumber for Twitch chat. And she's the happiest little bean to <laughs> get brushed. <laughs> Aww. I was saying earlier, she is getting a brain MRI soon to make sure her tumor didn't grow back. And then... Hi! Um, <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She She's getting her brain MRI to make sure her tumor didn't grow back. And then after that, she's going to probably... I have to get a checkup first to make sure she's uh, a good candidate for this, but they do a radioactive iodine injection for hyperthyroidism. And what that does is what it sounds like. They inject a radioactive iodine isotope, I think is what it is. And it kills the thyroid tissue that makes them hyperthyroid. So you don't have to give a medicine anymore. So, I won't have to give her wet willies twice a day for however many more years she lives. I, I feel so bad every time I do it. She makes such a sad face. Like, it, they don't make facial expressions, but like her ears shrink. Like, she doesn't want me to give her wet willies. I'm very, very happy that I don't have to pill her because it's definitely less traumatizing than that. But the, the radioactive iodine will actually end up cheaper over time if she lives for a good while, so. Because I have... Pet insurance that's going to cover most of it. Thank God for pet insurance. Oh my goodness. This cat. A freaking $20,000 cat at this point. And with pet insurance, it was a very small fraction of that. You are expensive, baby. She has a healthy brain. She does, hopefully, Oini Musha. She's been a little unsteady on her feet, which is the reason why I made the appointment. But I think it's just arthritis, because she's 15. I just noticed it a lot more recently. But I think, um, I think it, it was just a flare-up from some of the Ugh, I can't flex. I'm, whole I'm Russian Charlie. I can't flex. <laughs> Hi, Miri. Doing? Oh yeah, Ozzy was in there. Yeah, that game had some cool cameos. That was such a cool, like, Double Fine games are really creative and fun. They have, they have cool stuff like that. Jack Black is, is awesome. Are they gonna make a second one? Spoilers! Sp sp spoilers! Hi! Hey, Soul Dark! What is it that you have missed? Two minutes of Charlie brushing, and a lot of talking about dating in your 30s. So, you probably got here at a good time. <laughs> Unless you want dating advice from someone who hasn't dated in 10 years. Excuse me. It's it, like, that's the weird thing too, like it's such a different environment too, than when I was, was dating. And I call it dating, but I went on one date. So, <laughs> before, before I decided on age, it was like two dates. So it wasn't really dating. Hydroconic! Thanks for lurking! Good luck with the calls. Oh, he'll be voicing someone in Psychonauts. Okay, so it's not just his character. That's cool! You haven't dated in like 12! Okay, so I'm still in. <laughs> It just seems like it's getting progressively worse over time with the dating situation. I don't know. Like, it's cool that they, they... I think the apps are cool because they give you an opportunity to meet more people if you're from, like, the middle of nowhere. 
it expands your range a little bit so you don't have to meet someone at like a freaking dive bar in the, <laughs> the midwest <laughs> but it's a uh, at the same time it makes it easier to just reject people if they're not your perfect match yeah i'm 33 everyone thinks i'm a child <laughs> Is it the turnip boy? Is it the turnip boy that makes me look like I'm 16? I bet I people genuinely think I'm I'm 16, so it's, we'll just roll with it. But I'm, I'm I look double like I, <laughs> I am double the age that I look. I am not 12. I don't look 12. I can understand 16 or 18 or 20 something. Not 12. It's also because I don't wear makeup, and that makes women look older sometimes. And I have big cheeks. And I'm surrounded by toys. <laughs> I'm surrounded by stuffed animals. <laughs> and I wear graphic t-shirts. Like, I don't... I, be I bet if I put makeup on properly, which is hard to do, and styled my hair properly, and wore boring clothes that I would look older, but I like graphic t-shirts, so we're sticking with them. This is the longest you've been out of a relationship and off dating apps. You just don't have the energy for it. COVID notwithstanding, yeah, it definitely is something that requires a lot, a lot of attention and energy. And if you just want to work on, on yourself and do your own thing, it's better to, to not bother with it, I think. You gotta be you gotta be comfortable and happy with and enjoying your life on your own first. I don't think a lot of people get that. Turn it, boy. I do claim not to be Canadian. Shh. I would love. I I honestly would love to be Canadian. Like, please give me that. Give me that health care. <laughs> give me. <laughs> give me that delicious health care. <laughs> get me out of here. So it's, it's expensive to live there, though. It's expensive in Massachusetts too, so not much of a, it's probably comparable. The price Massachusetts is basically the closest to Canada that you can get in this country, I think. Like weather-wise and just kind of social programs and that type of stuff. Does Canada have legal weed too? I think they do now. Hi, Sparkly. How are you doing? German? Who thinks I'm German? I don't think anyone's ever thought I'm German. <laughs> we have some German viewers, <laughs> not me. You wish you realized that sooner? Hey, at least you realized it, man. Peace. Some people go their whole life without realizing it. Like my cousin I was talking about earlier, she's miserable when she's single and she's never worked on that. She bounces from relationship to relationship because she's so uncomfortable with herself. So there's a lot of people like that that just don't have the self-awareness and then they keep getting in these shitty relationships. Five-year-old Canadian that met Age on Twitch. I did not meet Age on Twitch. Nothing wrong with people that meet people on Twitch. By the way, I'm not throwing shade at them. There are some very, very cute couples that have met on Twitch. And they're good for each other. But I did not meet him on Twitch. It is very cold in Canada. I'd rather, like, freeze to death than burn alive. <laughs> Why South African? <laughs> Yeah, serial monogamous, exactly. They they like the commitment of being in a relationship and they like like the good feeling they get from having someone who cares about them, but when that's gone, it's a problem. Someone thought I was German. I don't remember that sparkly, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> While Charlie is on your lap, you should do a godfather thing. Wait, what? I'm not sure. I've never seen I've never seen the godfather. The rest, yeah, the rest is true. Five years old. I met Charlie on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a Twitch like adoption stream for pets would be problematic. There are like animal streams. Oh my goodness, you love this brush, don't you? I gotta be careful not to brush her eyeballs. Vancouver was 50 Celsius. You can burn and freeze. You guys are turning into New England. <laughs> that's that's like Massachusetts temperature is it's hot half of the year and freezing the other half of the year. 
Look at this little potato. <laughs> I love you so much. You are so good and precious. Oh my goodness, best girl. Best girl. Loved getting brushed. I do have to clip her feet soon, her nails. Oh, nice. It's a little dirty, but look at uh, dirty in more ways than one. But look at my <laughs> look what temperature is it is in here. <laughs> I got the AC blasting. <laughs> nice. Canada is hot like five percent of the time, and furs in the other ninety five percent. It's changing though. I think with with global warming. Hey Howie, how you doing? This morning where you live, it was 78 degrees Fahrenheit out, but 95% humidity. Did it rain? <laughs> That's gross. The humidity really is the problem. You are such a content little nugget. Oh my goodness. My heart. She's so good. It's like, you may, it's sad to think about. This is, it's very morbid. <laughs> It's very morbid to think about, but I think about when, like, whenever, whenever Charlie's gone, I don't know if I could get another cat because she's so good. Like, I don't think any cat would be as good as this cat is. <laughs> this is a particularly good cat. Like, she never scratches, she never bites, she's not an asshole most of the time. The only thing wrong with her is she had a brain tumor and she threw up a lot. But she can't help being sick. But her personality is just so good. And the, the people that dropped her off at the shelter said they didn't have time for her. That's the reason they gave for dropping her off at the shelter was they didn't have time for her, even though she's extremely low maintenance. And they said she used to borrow into the box spring mattress to hide. So I can't imagine like what they were doing to her because she is the most mellow cat to make her burrow into their mattress and hide. Like what? That must have, whatever environment she was in prior to this one must have been so stressful if she was doing that, because she she's not like that. You come to my house, you ask for my help, but you don't do it with respect or something like that. <laughs> blind run, unarmed Dark Souls. Oh yeah, someone thought I was blind because I had <laughs> tagged it as a blind run. People thought we were legitimately blind. Very good. Brushing eyeballs does sound like some Junji Ito shit. Junji Ito is such an amazing man. He is so cute for the spooky stuff he creates. He is he's a blessing. Such a cute man. Hi Retro! How you doing? How can you stand that cold? I'm sweating, Solder. Can I'm in shorts, but I have a thyroid problem, so my thermostat's broken. <laughs> 74 is not bad. I would like it to be like 60. Eight, ideally, but that it gets expensive. It thundered all night, but it didn't rain at all, and you're doing well. Yeah, things are good here. Hope, good, good, glad to hear you're doing well. Charlie's had enough. She's had enough. She is a cutie. Okay, say bye to Twitch chat. Oh, say bye. Oh, your foot's stuck, hun. There we go. Say bye, Charlie. Put me down. Like, put me down. Okay, you're very good. Very good. Fun. Why is everyone using the sad Charlie? Oh yeah, that's free. That's fine. Like, why is everyone so making the Charlie sad? Because everyone gets that one. <laughs> She's not sad. <laughs> Reinfrenchments did an amazing job with the with the Charlie. The uh, the shrimp feels very cute. You saw a YouTube video today about what where it can get as cold as a negative ninety six. Does, do people live there? If there's a hole in the box spring, cats will climb into it regardless of how well they're treated. I mean, maybe it's because I don't have a box spring that she hasn't shown her uh, her other side. <laughs> I have a, a futon. I haven't given her the chance, so maybe that's not fair. a fair assessment of them. Yak Yakutusk? Where, where the heck is that? I am not deaf, mute, and blind. No. No. I got- okay, so speaking of cats climbing in- in 
tight spaces. I'm gonna start up the game now. But I got Charlie. I spent way too much money on a bed for Charlie. It's coming on Friday. It's basically a box, but heated with a cushion. <laughs> it's so cute. It's just a, it's just a box, just a box. But it has a little bed in it, and it's it's heated. It seems perfect for her. But I spent way too much money. I just got it because I think that she'll actually use it because it's box shaped. Cats are so picky with that stuff. Tilly! You dropped by. Thank you for dropping by. I hope you're doing well. Let me know if can ship in new psychonauts. I think they're all they're, they're all like they're all children. <laughs> also, they all look like Tim Burton Bratz dolls. I don't know if that's what you're into. I don't know. I don't know if, if uh, Raz is the BL type. Oh yeah, the sunglasses guy, um, Sasha? True. That is true. All right, I'll let you know. I'll let you know <laughs> if there's any potential pairings for uh, for Sasha. <laughs> I think it's Sasha's his name. Watch her prefer the box it comes in. If it if she does, I will probably like move the pad from the bed into uh into, <laughs> into the box. I just wanted to get a heated one for her because of her arthritis. I thought it would be good for her little old lady bones, her little creaky bones. I'm trying to work with her, not against her, and I know she likes boxes. They all do. When are you gonna learn origami? Charlie's above paper balls. I know origami. I can make a crane. And that's about it. Alright, where is... Okay, so I'm playing this on... it. This game is available on Xbox Game Pass. And I paid one whole dollar for it for a month, so very good value. Shippers are weird. It's just like any other fandom. It's just for fun. Some people get obsessive about it, but but I do like I don't ship people, but I do think that there are couples in media that are particularly cute or good together. That's just your opinion, man. If we're crawling into the bed anecdote, is there anything to go by? Oh, with the with the bed? Yeah. Alright. So no spoilies, please, if anyone's played this. I don't know how intense the plot gets. As far as uh spoiler potential. It depends on the fandom. His name's Rasputin! Uh oh. Guys, I have to pee. <laughs> God damn it, bladder. <laughs> no, okay, I'll get through like the opening cinematics first. You guys have waited so patiently for Psychonauts too. We'll get through get through the start first. I'll stay strong. I don't know if Kirby would be a good boyfriend. Excuse me, you haven't even played the original game. So, so good news is sparkly. There is a recap of the plot at the start of this game. It wasn't very complicated. <laughs> the, the the general gist of Psychonauts is especially these kids have special psychic powers and they can dive into the minds of people and uh, each person's mind that they dive into is its own level and they navigate the level and the person's uh, psychological problems and emotional baggage at the same time. That's the general, general uh, gimmick behind it. The story itself is, isn't is really particularly interesting. Uh, any button. Is that Persona? This came out- I think uh, Psychonauts 1 came out probably before Persona? Or Shin Megami Tensei, but I could be wrong. I think it was 2002? Maybe? When did it- when did it- or was it 2006? I think it was 2002. Psychonauts 1. Hey, Garfle! What are you doing? Uh, 2005. Never mind, I thought it was 2002. Oh, they're older. Well, there are no original ideas anymore, so. <laughs> I think this game does it well, and it's not an RPG. It's a different gameplay. So it's more like navigating a, a level through platforming. Navigating through someone's mind as a platformer. Yeah, the first game's still, I think, it's all her. 
Hopefully the volume's okay, guys. Let me know if the music's like super bumping. Is it from the 80s? But what was it on, like NES? Oh no, this, this isn't good. My brain. <laughs> Three days ago, Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, was kidnapped. Mm -mm. Yesterday, with my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. Lobato kidnapped Zanotto, my got name it. Is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. Oh, he's a newbie. So I'm getting frame drops and I can't figure out why, but hopefully it's okay. Is he an intern? Are we an intern? Oh my goodness, look at his hair! <laughs> look at his little hair. <laughs> he's all st he's all dressed up. I love the little brain, uh... Everything okay in here, Raz? I don't know what that's called. Oh, <laughs> hey, Lily. Little clacky things? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just... I've dreamed about working at Psychonauts headquarters all my life. I just thought it would be more... You know? Crushing disappointment of reality. We're going to be late for the morale corral. <laughs> Oh. The first game started with training levels? Yeah, there was, uh, the Rhombus of Ruin was the VR one. to raise profits, uh, 900% this quarter. That's <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah, all the voice actors have and aged. that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? <laughs> Mori. Sorry, Is the volume okay, I guys? just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for this employee looks really good of so the far. year. Graphically, it looks good. The prize for this year's award is I'm an scaling. all expenses paid tropical vacation. Ooh. Oh, I hope it's me. <laughs> the winner of this award may be one of our newest members, but he's also one of our most improved. Congratulations to Caligosto Loboto. Yeah, that's a name. Full name. Whoa. Way to go, Cal. You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. <laughs> I, the lady's I eyeballs are like a flounder. Not a vacation. <laughs> well, I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Ooh. Oh, it comes with a beach ball. All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. This you is just too need realistic. To get this form signed by your boss. <laughs> My boss? Yes, darling. Or you could just tell us who your boss is and we could. No. Maybe he doesn't want this tropical vacation after all. Look back. I want it. I'm employee of the year. Yes, you are, darling. Now off you go. Get that form signed by your boss. The person who hired you. The very person very you subtle. Work for. <laughs> okay. Hurry up before I take that vacation myself. His mustache is so intense. His eyebrows. I'm on him. Oh, nice. We got the goggles. We good to go. This Keep is with him, Raz, standard and uniform. Lead you straight to his boss. <laughs> Uh, now we got the full uniform on. Zyro, hi! Totally understandable. Enjoy the game. And thank you. Thank you for, uh, for lurking. Yeah, the aesthetic is perfect. It's, uh, it's polished and a little more obviously high detail than it was on, uh, on the original, but it has the same charm to it. The character design. Has a l character design has a lot of character. You guys stay here. I'm on it. I'm in an awkward, I am a <laughs> awkward sight. Psychonauts site. employee. Huh? Okay. <laughs> like a crotch high. Do you know high. where the boss's office is? My boss is tough but fair. Well, good for you, I guess. <laughs> My boss is tough but fair. Everyone's a zombie. Corporate zombies. Right. 
So I don't think I can run yet. I think I gotta do, gotta do a little power walking. Are they 12? Yeah, I'm not sure the, the time span between the last game, but they're supposed to recap it at some point. I've forgotten that I need to- Shh, stop it, Twilight. <laughs> yeah, this may not be reality. We have the goggles on. Mondays, am I right? It's a sorry, mission. can't talk. It's no meetings Monday. Huh. Oh, well then. I like this- I like this guy back here with the big- the big suit and the tiny head. He reminds me of, uh, David Byrne a little with the big suit. And not stop making so sense. how long have you worked here? I have worked here from one to three years. Hmm. Yeah, this- 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 I think we're not in reality. Because this is, uh, it's too accurate. It's a little- a little unnerving. My boss is tough, but fair. Why is he wearing shades inside? It's part of his standard issue uniform. He's always got to get- he's always has to have the goggles on. Otherwise people will see his freakishly deformed head. <laughs> you need the hat and the goggles to hide it. I need to follow Lobato. I am fairly compensated for my work. Oh. Really? I feel like they may be being threatened by their, uh, by their employers. Remember to bring a smile to the Morale Corral every day from... 7 to 9 a.m. every day. Imagine having to do- does this happen? Who works in an office? Do you guys have team building exercises for two hours a day, every day, during the week? If so, I'm sorry. I could- I could never- I could never do corporate culture. I would die. I'd pass away. They go together. It's like PB and J. Razz and goggles. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. You may ask we'll yourself, to him off. how did yeah, I get here? Hey, I think we're on a mission. You may find yourself living in a shotgun hey, shack. Has... But don't freak him out. It is a sneaking mission. <laughs> I am acting casual. What's that? I said, I love casual Friday. Am I right? Mm. Attention. Don't lose him, Raz. I know it's not real. Oh no, we can run. I know it's not realistic, Oni Misha, but some people may be subjected to extensive uh, team meetings. Don't you suspects anything? Must you stop dawdling? Right. Let's talk to everyone. I know this isn't an RPG, but <laughs> all right, we still haven't got a jump button. Because I just want to look at all the little details. Uh -oh, Sometimes right. they hide fun I stuff. Think he suspects something. He's taking countermeasures. Just remember your basic writing, soldier. My braining, punching. Very Are good. You following me? Can I scan my butt? No. Bomber. It's on the posters. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Got uh, some abstract art going on. Very good. Typical office. Yeah. The <laughs> tutorial me. time. This was all a trick. I'm not employee of the year. I think he's I'm the most the Tim Burton seeming character. Century. In the game, all He's agents, the two very Tim Burton has gone design. Bad. Repeat, the two has gone bad. Maintain pursuit, Rasputin. We are in position to intercept. Roger. We'll jump higher. Oh. Woo. Oh, I love, I love how lanky he is. Like how loose his uh, his yep. jump animation is. <clears throat> his arms are all wobbly. <clears throat> He's very, very cartoony looking. Imagine the expertise of the tailors in this world, right? Everyone's so weirdly Looking for me? proportioned. Well, Hi. Come and get me. <laughs> what? Why are you oh, taking so my brain. long? <laughs> okay, that, that is that's really cool. That's fun. I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation you're in. <laughs> Can I talk to the people down here? Watch out! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> My bad. Hey, you're not supposed to walk that way. The gravity's all weird. That's cool how it it's, uh, affects the stuff below you. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who think of David Byrne when they see someone in a large wide suit. And those who think of Kanye. Gross. Who does that? Coach! No time for small talk, soldier. The enemy is on the move. Kanye's Dancing on the ceiling. Corner. This way. Oh, what a feeling. Yeah, the wall jumping is probably going to get pretty janky. Hurry. We can't let I'm a little us. concerned about it. Now, 
before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist's hat. You don't want any dirty. Go away! That's a tooth? That's a big old tooth. Ow! Okay, okay, shit. <laughs> Teach you, teach you the dodge button, Percy, to face tank every piece of debris falling. <laughs> Figments of the imagination are littered all over the mental worlds. Your rank will increase for every 100. Soldier, Correct. I didn't pick. Collect. Got Correct. this giant tooth off of me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Probably weren't supposed to uh, honk him in the face after pulling it. See a figment. Suck it up, soldier. Like actually suck it up like Kirby or just walk over to it. Teeth. Is does anyone have a teeth a teeth phobia? Because this is probably not a level you wanna be you wanna be uh watching. Big gaping uh like look look at the look at this. Mmm delicious just like waggling root. Coach there were no teeth in Sasha's plan. That's what I told him. But he's all, no weapons, Maury. That's a talking potato. How, how rude. That's Coach. He may look slightly potato-esque, but, Bring but look, following orders, look at all the, you go on ahead. look at all the medals he has. It's a very well-decorated potato. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Also, I love how the figments I thought the big tooth was upsetting. scattered well, throughout the level. Soldier through, private. Unzip that dental door. Um, are related to the theme of the level. So we got the Novocaine needles. We got pulled teeth. <laughs> Fun Good stuff. Job, soldier, what's that light? Uh oh. Zip it back up again. Zip it. Ah! Yeah. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Yeah, the, the teeth zipper is a little mm. <laughs> uncomfortable. No better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. These guys need no some problem. some serious I'm dental work. Sure, I can do this in the dark. He does look like a skin uh, tag. He's not as oh. irritating though. Coach, this room is definitely not in Sasha's plan. Mm, this look, this room looks like a Cronenberg nightmare. No. Nope. That's just a sensor. Everybody has They did have a warning, to be fair, mind that I skipped over that said belong. If you like have a, a tooth phobia, you might want to watch out. You handle this one. I'll find a way out. There was a lot of trigger warnings at the start of this game. Like if you have PTSD or a tooth phobia or anxiety or panic attacks, uh be careful. Nope. I wonder if there's a lock on. Nope. They can be stunned by throwing nope. objects at them. How do I. Oh, there we go. Oh, it auto aims. That's cool. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay, the combat already feels better. That's like a knots one. Brains represent the strength of Braz's connection to the mental world. If mental energy is depleted, he will be reset to his last mental checkpoint. Got him. Got GG easy. Yo, I'm, I gotta collect the figments. Excuse me. Just have to do your thing <laughs> with the dental door here. Ugh. I can't even look at it. I like how they have the veins there just for extra nastiness. Nice details. Totally unnecessary, but definitely adds to the creepiness. What's going on in here? Snitches got stitches. Who's that lady? <laughs> There's like a random lady in there. I like the little details too, like in the, in this room there's a... Just the chairs stuck in the ceiling. First try! My face cam is over the tooltips, do you guys need to know what button to press to jump? Because I can move it. Look at that! Did he just move or am I hallucinating? I thought the painting moved, but might be hallucinating. <laughs> mm. 
memory vault. Some minds try to protect themselves by locking memories away in vaults. Chase them down and bust them open to reveal the repressed memories inside. Who needs therapy when you can just beat your repressed memories <laughs> into submission? That's one of Dr. Lobato's faults. I should try to catch it. Got him. High value intel inside. Enhancement under the sea. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. That's uh, my buttons are shoot. How do I access it? It plays a little cutscene, but I don't know how to access it again. And my buttons are not the buttons showing on the screen because I'm using a DS4. <laughs> so I press back and by accident. Maybe nerves? That probably makes more sense. I like how they're sticking- Ugh! Ugh! Look at- Okay, okay, this is- Yeah, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> All the teeth. It's like coral. Gross. But uh, yeah, hopefully it gives me another chance to watch that memory. I can't find a menu that pulls it up. Whoops. <laughs> Tutorial level! Oh, this one. Wait, is that bees? Oh, look at this! What does this have to do? Oh, wait a minute. So some of them are subtle, but they're still related. So this is probably the, no the noise of the, the dental trill. It's a buzzing bee. Like, mm. I don't think I don't think there's any that are totally random. Yep. Yep. Is that it? Is someone smoking a stogie? Is that, is that a is that a floating tooth smoking a stogie? What am I looking at? <laughs> I still love you, Charlie. She's sleeping, but she appreciates you. Sorry, bro. Yeah, we are in a hallucination. I think that is a tooth yes. uh, smoking a stogie. Yes! Yes! Alright, so we got the emotional baggage tag. Now we have to find the emotional baggage. I think I got everything, right? We good. Oh, and it shows the last figment, too, on the top right. It shows the, the picture of the last one you collected, too. But oh, the baggage! This is pretty much, it looks like almost the same model from from the first game for the emotional baggage. It always is this little happy thing. But when they match them up. Tag duffel bag, all right. So now we, we've sorted the baggage. I think we can deal with the dental door. Blip. Beat them into submission, exactly. How could it be? Yeah, Freudian hallucination simulator. Hey, see what you can find that way. See Common you mental phobia simulator. Yeah, it's it's it, the gameplay is Looks very like similar, but it feels better. Feels is less floating. I need. Oof. I'm coming, Sasha. And I, honestly, it's been so long since I played the original Psychonauts. I'm totally okay if the gameplay is almost exactly the same. Rasputin, ha, careful. Ooh. Here's the hat box tag. That's irritating. There we go. It's a trap. He interrupted him. Has... It's a trap. Someone is helping him. He couldn't. <laughs> couldn't do this himself. He... <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Countermeasures too strong. <laughs> oh shoot! Hang on while I blast this. <laughs> Thank you, Got him right in the Let's uvula. Get clear of this aggressive uvula. <laughs> Sasha, Don't you hate it when you have an overly aggressive how is the breaking through the office construct? He couldn't be doing this on his own. He must be getting help from someone even more. Sasha's silent. Sinister. That polka dot's high. Silk tie. Get ready, Rasputin. Look at all his teeth. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. Sasha! <laughs> I, ooh, I've got the situation on our oh, control. Ooh, ah. ooh, oh, oh, oh. Just did find us a way out of here quickly. Yeah, don't bother with them, little moose. It is a tooth you with a stogie. Go go. <laughs> you gotta grab the big boys. <laughs> Help me carry this one, will you, Frankie? Yo, that crown probably costs like two thousand dollars. I can't believe this. <laughs> ah, they got me too, Frankie. The moose. <laughs> 
This is cute now. It went from horrifying to slightly cute. Nays the original as a base and tweaked it. Yeah, this game has been in production since like 2006 or something ridiculous. I need to find that exit. So it could have a lot of the bones of the original game in it. Yeah, I saw the thing with the Nirvana pool baby. It's so stupid because he he has all these pictures of him recreating that scene with pants on as he got older, but obviously he wasn't particularly traumatized by it if he is recreating it. I gotta time that one. Platforming. Stogie is such a good word. Why? Why say did cigar? You even brush before you came when Stogie today? exists, he did get devoured. It's a mess in there. He got kicked yeah. out of the brain, I think. When you die, you get kicked out. If I remember. Ah! Oh, never mind. There is. Just kidding. Now, everything that doesn't belong. <laughs> Look at the hang in there, cat. It's like oh, no. a long cat. Not back in the trap. On the poster. Trap? Coach? Coach, where'd he go? Oh, well, that's a good sign. <laughs> what is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, oh, I thought he was maybe being sarcastic. there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Uh, Sasha? <gasps> Are regrets dangerous? Oh, yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit? Okay, no problem. It's a good, uh, this is a good visual depiction of regret. Extremely dangerous, sure, if you say so. Ooh. Easy peasy. Oh, but wait, there's more. Yeah, this, this definitely feels better to play. It is a little laggy, I noticed. I'm not dropping frames on stream. Ooh. You don't really have iframes on the roll. Good job, Rasputin. Unfortunately, I can't find a way out of here anywhere. Uh, Sasha? How long has that golden door been there? Golden what? Did somebody say gold? <laughs> Frankie, here's our chance for revenge! Oh, not these guys. Not again! I'll keep looking. I was just taking everything gold. Watch out! They should not again! I'm coming to see ya, ma! <laughs> Rasputin, you see what you can find through that door. I'm going to stay here and attempt to repair Ooh, the my tongue. Construct. Large tongue. Ooh! Ooh, the detail. Okay, alright, look. It's, it's got it's got spit. It's got <laughs> They didn't have to do that, but they did. What is that? What is that supposed to be? That little little thing with the eyeball. Stool pigeon. Not even a smidgen. <laughs> so beautiful. Don't be a rat. I wonder if I can get up there. Yeah, I know. I know. You want me to go down, down the door? I'm looking at the stuff. Why is? <laughs> Is that a manatee? Veneers for all. Even for the manatees? Do manatees have teeth? I'm assuming they have like tusks. A walrus or something. Maybe not. The boss of this place is gonna be someone with a full grill? Probably. That makes sense. They're stealing all the gold. I hear a phone ringing. So look at the ce oh my god, the ceiling. Some, some very disturbed mind designed this level. Oh yeah, Meat Circus was fair, was not a good level. <laughs> Meat Circus was a spooky design, but absolutely awful to play. It's like infamously bad platforming. You have a dentist appointment soon. You may want to consider rescheduling. Oh, this is not getting any better. <laughs> That's an understatement. Oh, it's not getting much better. Loose lips. Sink. Drips. Oh, it's a sink with teeth. Oh, good. Very good. Uh oh. Slippery. Whoa. Whoa. 
It's trick to rock a run to rock a run. <laughs> Look at that. Still got that water phobia. Oh, happy huh? teeth holding it's hands. It's not a phobia. It's a curse. Back in Grulovia, my whole family was cursed to die in water. And yeah, yeah, super sad. <laughs> Look at these posters. What an asshole. I think someone else planted these in Lobato's mind. <laughs> Shut it. Him. And make sure he didn't tell us who hired him to kidnap your dad. Let's get rid of them. Maybe it'll help. Help me burn these posters, Raz. Time for fire. Time for pyrokinesis. Yes. Yes. Ooh. I feel bad about not this is fine. Things, even though they're not real. Oh, they highlight. Cool. I think if I just keep holding it, they melt. I don't think I have to release it. Oh, no, you gotta release it. But they spent so much time lovingly decorating this nightmare. They were just ruining it all. This is fine. I'm trying to get multiple at once because it's got like a pull down. The one's up high. I wonder if you have to jump to reach them. Yeah, you do. I don't know how to get the top one. Oh no! How long's out of reach, I think? It's as high as I can go. Oh, there we go. I feel like she's staring at me from a Mario painting. <laughs> Ooh, looks like you found an even bigger room. I'm gonna catch up oh. to Lobato. Okay, I'll catch up after I make sure these posters are all burnt. Listen, back in the rumbus, I, we had a moment, am I right? We're not here to hurt you. We just want to know who hired you to kidnap Truman Zanotto. Mm. Why can't you just let it go? Oh, well, that ends well. Right. So I thought they were gonna sum up the promise of ruin stuff. I think they're maybe after this. Oh, it's another manatee. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think there's there's supposed to be a Ramos of Ruin, the, the VR game summary somewhere in here. And Psychonauts 1 summary, I'm assuming after the tutorial mission. I wonder if they hide figments behind the posters. It seems like they'd be pretty obvious that there's something hidden behind them. And probably ground level. try to collect everything yep. like when you guys play this type of game do you tend to go to collect all the, the random hmm. stuff Sounds like there's some in these type of platformers I should try to get it says it levels you up but I'm not sure what it does like what the leveling up does burn lily too please it would be for the best thanks for adding the quote pin <laughs> Everyone has emotional baggage that needs to be sorted. Yes, yes they do. <laughs> I'm so glad they kept the like ba ba da 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 da. <laughs> Happy emotional baggage music is very good. Anything up there? Nothing. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of this. I'm just looking at all the details because they really did put put a ton of work into this. This world. Aha. Ho ho! Oh, that one was obvious. <laughs> That's the only way to go. You don't bother with the figments, but the other stuff you generally tried to grab. So it said it increases your rank or something, but it like didn't say what it does. The teeth. Oh god, the, the teeth have teeth. The teeth have teeth in the cracks. Okay, I don't know if the rank is, is worth increasing. Oh no, you cannot. You can't hang out on there. No! Yep. Whoa! 
didn't do don't do all the collections anymore as a kid, sure, but not now. Yeah, I, I don't um it is interesting that they still have them in a game that is probably more generally targeted to an adult audience that played the original game, because they probably don't have the time to collect them all. Like they used to. Hey Ryan French, how are you doing? It's, 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 it's a mented hat in time. A hat in time is like a PG Psychonauts. The Psychonauts is probably PG, but uh, it's, a, it's a more tame Psychonauts. This came out first, or at least the first one did. I forgot. I forgot to pee. I'm good. I'm good so far. I need the purse tag here. Did I miss a tag somewhere? Uh oh. There's there's one uh, one emotional baggage tag. I thought I was doing a really good job exploring. I think if you do collect the emotional baggage... I think I hear something. Yeah, it's right there. Um, I think if you collect all the emotional baggage, you do get, like, extra... stuff. I'm sorry! I'm sorry I did it! I take it back if I did Was that you screaming? Or me? I think it's the Doesn't end of the matter. level. Seems Listen. like... We all have our doubts. Hat and time's regrets, really good. I didn't play too much of it. Though. To turn back now. Understand? This is hard for a game what to hold my attention. What we have to do now is finish the extraction. Ow. Lily, I think Lobato is starting to have doubts. Duh. They're right over there. Luckily, they're highly flammable! You take care of them while I find a way out, okay? Yeah, pause. I got like... I'm eating a fruit shrimp and there's like a rock in it. It's like a seed or something. Oh, you know what it is? They're apricot fruit strips. It's probably like a pit. That was that was ground up. Not comfortable. You have been paying attention to you oh haven't haven't been paying attention to Wall Street Campsite, yeah no. I d I don't I didn't see any, but there must have been a hidden one. You couldn't get them all the first time through that that could be it, Oni Musha. You remember that too? Makes sense. That encourages you to play more. <laughs> Look at him run. Oh, okay. Alright, don't step in it. No. No. So they just die. Oh. They just die if you hit them with the fire once. A slide pop. This brain candy will restore some of your mental energy. I think this is new. I don't think you could heal. I don't think there were healing Ooh, items. Thank you for the mental energy, Psy pop. Before. Oh, they run too when they're on fire. Cytanium. <laughs> Cytanium is a psychoreactive material used by psychonauts as currency. Okay, so this is the Arrowhead equivalent. Cool. No. No. The n n n Yakuza. This one is like smooth music. It's good den dentist waiting room music. Oh! Oh! Give me that money. I hope that there isn't a mission like in the first game. The worst part of the first game was in the starting area. <gasps> Ooh, let's put an AOE on it. Um, in the starting area, you had to collect a bunch Doesn't of arrowheads to progress. Get away from me, you scary little girl! Think we should burn it? Oh, you haven't changed, have you? Come on, just tell us who hired you to kidnap my dad. Oh, this is really personal for you, isn't it? <laughs> you bet. 
you were repenting. Oh. Who does it? I'm burning this guy. Go for it, honey. I'll tell you. Uh, I'm exploring. Yes. The person who hired me. Yes? Was no one. No one hired me because I didn't do anything. Oh, brother. Nothing in here. Money. Wait for their dialogue to stop. <laughs> oh no, you don't. I think I just did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> Nothing. Did you forget everything I taught you about levitation, Rasputin? Please, tutorial no. me. Your thoughts can lift you up if you focus. Better mm -hmm. hurry before we hit the ground. I'm like a baby bird learning to fly. No, that's there fire. You go. <laughs> now let's get out of here. Lobato needs our help. Yes. Wait, help Lobato. Someone really did a number on that poor thing. I think he wants to tell us who hired him, but he's terrified. It would probably Let's keep dropping you until you, uh, until you pop the thing that you're supposed to do. I would hope. Does it just let you splat? <laughs> Nothing down here. Oh, the wires are braces. I'm trying to figure out what they were. Braces. Time for a plat- oh, I'm so dead. Time for platforming! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, not- I feel like... Not enough games have the comedic tutorial deaths. My favorite one, comedic tutorial death, is something you can avoid, but, uh... Can I get up there? Wait a minute. But Demon Souls, the Vanguard boss, is this big wompy like demon fat demon guy. First tag. Basically one shots you. You can beat him if you're patient enough and good enough, but I got clobbered. Hmm. So are the, the baggage tags do you guys remember if the baggage tags go to specific baggage or is it just a certain number overall. I missed two figments. What? Ooh, fall damage. Yep. Why for oh! If your scream isn't Wilhelm, Wilhelm, is it even a scream? Not a good enough scream. Other specific bugs, okay. They're avoidable when done properly. You don't want to mock your player when they're learning in the game. Yeah, sometimes there's like the deaths that are unavoidable for story purposes, and I think those are okay. If they let you, uh. If they indicate that's the. Like, I feel like sometimes when there's deaths for story purposes, I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. Um. You can stay alive far too long before you trigger the death. And it gets annoying when you're supposed to die. Wee! Oh no! I, I let go. I let go of the button. <laughs> oh my god! The lip. I'm trying to get on. There we go. Hold button. <laughs> I've not seen Thank you. Bravery. Thank you, Onimusha. Um, how do I get over there? That's the one I can't figure out. Because that's too far to float from there. We gotta go, oh, we gotta go maybe up first? My brain. <gasps> Woo -hoo -hoo. I gotta get over to that one. Yep. I like these little uh, spitty cups. <laughs> Very good oh, dentist well, details. my button. Oh, I gotta charge it. What? Oh, I'm, I'm holding a water cooler? I was like, what do I grab? <laughs> By accident. Random water cooler. P -p -p Puzzle.
Anything hidden back here? Another water cooler. Why are the water coolers like radioactive glowing? Oh, those two missed figments though. I like getting them, but not enough to go back. I'm not gonna go out of my way or it'll take me 10 years to beat the game. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. I said her happy must place. Always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? You think it's a sign? Oh, yeah, maybe. They, they have the health. Yep. That would make sense. Where are these things? Oh! Oh! You get, you get a little bit of air. Oh no. <laughs> I don't understand what these things are. You can't, you can't, uh, interact with them, I think. Maybe I can lock on? No? What the heck are those? <laughs> Just going all over the dang place. Whoa! Shit here. To avoid the picks. Oh, they don't move. Thought they were gonna slam down. So let's see. Mia? Let's see if Slither was you? correct. Sasha, you are correct. I can't reach Mia. That I is a help for Dementistrated. <laughs> Sasha? <laughs> Coach. De really? Dementis demented like oh, defenestrated, no. but out of the brain. I'm the last one still in here. That's very good. Dementistrated. What are these things? This is bothering me. I don't know what these are. Oh, yep. Cannot, cannot grab them. Can't lock on them. Can't shoot them. Can't light them on fire. Oh, baggage. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. <laughs> Trying to keep track of all the different buttons. <laughs> so this levitate was, uh, which one again? Nope. Not that one. What the fuck was the levitate button? Oh, it's the same as the roll. Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Where am I? Camera, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe later. That makes sense. We track. Come back here. You gotta float! This is a good start. This is the tutorial. This is all on me. This is not on how the game controls. This is just my brain playing a platformer. <laughs> the game controls oh. fine. Ooh. Yeah. Platforming. Very good. I really like Dementistrated. Dementistrated. Because Defenestrate just means you throw something out of a window. Or something goes out of a window. So she got- she done got lobbed out of the brain. Yeah, they're retainers. <laughs> oh, good morning, Risu. How was your nap? I'm gonna miss this. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Demon. Demon. De what? De what? <laughs> what was I supposed to do again? It's him. I've gotta stop him. Oh, no. No. Bented spoon. B bented spoon. Bent spoon. Oh, there's a little one. No. Oh, he hit me with the freaking... Alright, I'm like locked on stuff I shouldn't be. No. No. Knock it off! Egg. 
in the box. Then the... No, Get no. the health. Health. The Ooh, a lot of health. What is no, this thing? So I thought the figments were, were related, but I'm not quite sure what these box. things are. I thought they were related to the, mem the mine that you're in. These are like all box. cutesy things. And the eggs in the ocean. I put the old egg in the box in the back of the egg. No, no, no. I put the egg in the box and the. Look at the turtle! With the, look at the turtle! With the rain boots and the crown. Yeah, this is, these are like little girl drawings, these ones. These figments. It's it's bracing. It's bracing already. This is very Tim Burton. No, no. That's not it. It's very much like the scientist in the Nightmare Before Christmas. You put the egg in the basket. And the old egg in the box. It rubs the, the egg the ocean. on its skin. It's simple. And if you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, you'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. The boss fight? Oh, please. Is that <laughs> angry scream? Well, that's an intro. Does we died? Oh shit! Tutorial complete. Ten out of ten. <laughs> would see. Would would slide, no, swipe right. Not her. I won't tell. Lag. Oh, why it's lagging? I'm not dropping frames in OBS. It's not overloading anything. That bozo's brain was we got some demonstrated. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. <laughs> the poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw something else. Looks so like good to know. It's just it's kind of just sporadic. Terrified Lobato. It was a woman dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of water. There was something familiar. So about was that the Rhombus of Ruin plot? Miss Buton, the, I'm going to show you a picture. The VR game. That's her. Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The deluge of Grulovia. Or is this the, the main big bad? She's been dead for 20 years. Ford Crawler killed her himself. A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster. A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. She got simps. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day <laughs> delusionaries. Delusionaries? What are they up to? Clever. Well, it's ridiculous, really. There is no scientific basis to... She kind of looks like Ursula. With the little snaky things. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling. The puns are so they good. Mean, they can do it. They might do some dangerous things. Mia, I think Dementus is still the my other favorite. Disturbing fact in all of this, that unstable character could Made never it. kidnap the grand head Get of the lost. Psychonauts without help. Yes. You mean there's a mole in the Psychonauts? <gasps> you think this is a mole? You're dumber than you look. <laughs> <laughs> that is clearly the mother a gerbil. Mac and cheese? Is it Amy's mac and cheese? 
Yeah, their look is very 70s. The head uh, psychonauts people. At least the lady. Agent Forsyth, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Motherlobe? What are you talking about, Agent 9? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Is he all right? <laughs> we won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. Hey, this chillin'. is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. A mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. <laughs> like every and time they say delusionists, they're like... Malicula. What? I know. They draw it out. Isn't it delusionists? The Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Wait, where did Can that someone fish come help from? Me with my dad? He's still acting funny. Truman. The coach is just... I, I missed the part where the coach got half of a fish. Let's get him inside so we they can do kind of down. look like Doug people. They're all very specific, like shapes. I'll see what I can find out in my meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. Very exaggerated. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our coach is potato office. shaped. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin. I'm uh, your newest psychonaut. How's that? Ford Crowley, he gave me a badge. I've been kind of helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid. Agent Crowler is a hero. But he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission psychonauts. Do I need five years but of experience? You can, right? You're Hollis Ford qualified. Lesser head of the psychonauts? True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer Noodler. the title Second Head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. In the intern program. <laughs> but don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. I wonder if the levitating. Welcome the, um, to the mother lobe. The telekinesis, uh I wonder how much coffee we can carry. How many coffees we can carry effectively with the telekinesis ability? I feel like that would be a, be a useful skill to have as an intern. You can get the coffees in your hand and with your brain. <clears throat> Maximum okay efficiency. If I go up into the main headquarters now. I'm sorry, little boy, but there just aren't any school tours today. What? I'm an intern. Agent Forsyth <laughs> gave me this. <laughs> Really? Let's check this your head so the cute. reader, please. <laughs> That's a face. Well, I'll be doused. Welcome to the intern program. Let me get you your orientation. Materials. Unpaid internship. Just what I always. Oh my god, it's a picture. <laughs> Is this a prequel? No, I believe this takes place after the first game, Nefreen. I think thought they were supposed to recap the first game at some point. Maybe I'm not far enough into it. So there was the first game, there was a VR game in between called The Rhombus of Ruin, and then this one. And I believe this is sequentially the last one. So in the first one, we kind of showed our, our worth as a psychonaut and the old psycho, like the old guy who's actually, actually a psychonaut accepted us, but apparently he, they think he's like senile, so it doesn't count. So now we gotta earn it again. I can only carry a bladder of co- what? <laughs> what? 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 The field manual will act as your guide through the world of psychonauts. Your progress is tracked here along with the information you gather on your journey to becoming a junior psychonaut. When in doubt. So we got basically got demoted. Um, when in doubt, press that button to to consult your manual. I don't know what that button is on this controller. Intern profile, nice picture. Your internship progress is tracked on this page. Intern rank is key to unlocking new psychic abilities. Increase your rank by finding side challenge cards and markers in the real world or nuggets of wisdom in minds. Wow, that picture really captures my startled side. <laughs> 
So I wonder if I can view the thing that I skipped through by accident. He's only, he's only 10 years old. He is only 10 years old. I was confused because Rez was not an employee until now. Even though the first game happened. Yeah, I think that's... I think this is not a flashback. Maybe it is. I'm a little confused. It's been such a long time since I played the first one. I think it's after the first one. From what they're implying. That, they, that he's just not recognized because they didn't take uh, Agent Crawler's word for it. I was never... Uh, well, I, I... Agent Crawler believed in me. But they don't believe in Agent Crawler. They don't believe in the Agent Crawler who believes in me. That's the problem. I'm not a full-fledged psychonaut yet, but this badge makes me a member of the official intern program. So we were just- we were just at, like, psychonaut camp in the first game. Yeah, psychonauts camp. But he was a, he was an agent, though. They called him Agent Crawler. He was some sort of agent. I think he was, like, retired because he was so old. He was, a, like, a cleaning guy. Undercover. The section of your manual tracks the progress of any side powers you're authorized to use while in the intern program as your rank increases. Oh, okay, so the figments might level up your abilities in this one. Excuse me, if they increase your rank. Uh, you will earn intern credit, which you can spend here for side power upgrades. Use of unauthorized powers is strictly prohibited. You Ooh, can. Looks like I can choose where to focus yeah, my so it's got, oh, cool. my powers. It's got a little, kill, uh, little, um, interesting. A little skill tree. I don't remember that in the first one, so I think this is new. What should we upgrade? Dodge attack? I don't have any money. <laughs> so we're all excited to upgrade. We have zero intern credit. We need to, uh, need to get on that. It might have a space level. The, the levels are all sorts of wacky, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Like, the first game they had, uh, had some pretty... Pretty wacky levels. I think the coolest level in the first game was probably Black Velvetopia. Coolest looking level. Like black velvet paintings on neon and, and stuff. As, as a psychonaut, it is important to always be aware of your surroundings. This section of the manual tracks your exploration in both physical and mental worlds. Gotta keep track of all the places I've been here. Places I've visited. Lovato's Labyrinth and the Mother Lobe. Oh, oh, ooh, this is cool. So it shows how much you've completed. And it fills it in as it goes along. My mission? Drill down into Calig Caligosto Lobato's mind and root out whoever hired him to kidnap Truman Zanato. This is, okay, this is the thing I skipped over by accident. That I collected. <laughs> I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> oh, the turtle! It was his turtle. The turtle in the tank. With the little crown. Passport and money. Okay. <laughs> Look at the turtle. Where are you going? What's the plan? Outpost Charlie Psycho Delta. It's some underwater lab. It's turning people. <gasps> Fish brains? <gasps> It's time for a, it's time for a, a flex break. Time for a flex break. Thank you, thank you for ever running for the for the flex break. <laughs> Did I say welcome back, Draconic? Welcome back. How you doing? You like the kaiju level? I think that, that's what my shirt is. It's the the lungfish opalus level, right? With Gogalor. That was a fun one. Um, yeah, I think he's like putting fish brains into people bodies. So what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> They're so feeling. Not one, not one brain cell between those eyes. <laughs> oh, and when you make it, make your own personal army of uh, fish people. What do you do with them? You play, you play poker. Very good. That was a good aside. I'm glad. I'm glad that that exists. Aha! Maps are always useful. A map? What kind of map is this? Very, very basic map. It's got a key that I'm blocking. It's 1.40 a.m. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you sleep well. Catch you later. Yeah, some rest. That is late. 
Uh, as an intern, you'll have nearly full access to the mother loop facilities, including our cafe bowling alley and hair salon. Excuse me? This is a swank job. Hair salon? Mission log. Mission log tracks any official psychonauts missions you undertake as part of the intern program. Consult this section for active missions and key operating procedures. I'll keep my to-do list here. Report to the classroom. Hollis Forsyth wants me to report to the intern coordinator in the classroom. The map I got at reception should help me find it. <gasps> Whip. <laughs> Whip. Whip. Okay, we ready to roll. Now that we've uh, had the menu tutorialized, and the everything tutorialized, can we hit stuff? Yes. Oh, there's money in the water cooler. Excuse me. Putting fish brains into bodies is hardly unethical. You're sure scientists do it all the time. Twilight, were you here when we were looking at the, the brain cell? The brain cells in a petri dish that they stimulated to grow eyeballs? Primitive eyeballs? That's what that's what they're that's what scientists do for fun. <laughs> All right, let's go. Elevator. Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Thinker print. This is just a very well realized world, the creative world, with the different names and the different designs for everything. It feels uh, cohesive. <laughs> I can't believe I'm really here! Psychonauts headquarters! He's so cute. Ow! Sorry, new ball. <laughs> wow! I aspire to be a brain in a hamster ball someday. When my body has had enough, put me in a hamster ball. So I can roll around. All right. Greetings, fellow psychic. I'm Otto Metalis. I'm personally too busy thing? crafting oh. the future the of psychic technology cards. in my lab right now. This automatic. So we get a bunch of these, the and then get a core. Welcome to the automatic. This is your one-stop shop for psychonaut supplies, pins to mod your psychic pop, your psi powers, and psi challenge marker creation. Let me give you the dime. Oh, it's a store. These are the goods no Psychonaut can do without. Be sure to stock up on supplies before heading out on missions. When you've saved up enough Psytanium, consider grabbing some accessories to upgrade your carrying capacities. I can't- I got- I have no money. <laughs> Wait, oh it's a free one! Why don't you grab a complimentary core for yourself? We'll use it in the next section. Thank you, you shouldn't have. Great idea! Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. I love me some free upgrades. Okay, so this is similar to the first one. You'll need nine psi, car nine psi cards to use with that psi core you got there. You can combine the whole lot of them to create a psi challenge marker, which will grant you one rank. Okay. I forget what it actually levels up. Because you have the skill tree, but I guess this levels up like your overall power? It's like, uh, what is a monoculus in TF2? The Halloween boss is some giant floating eyeball. Feast your eyes on these pins. Pins allow you to co add custom, okay, custom tweaks to your side powers. You can mix and match them to suit your level, suit your style of play, and as you rank up, you'll gain access to more powerful ones. Why don't you try out one on the house? Ooh. Free pin. Best day ever. Oh, it's a color change. Well, gotta go with red. It's not even a question. A rubious, rubious red pin. Wise choice. So they're like cosmetic upgrades. That's fun. Cool. Oh, and these are just kind of other things. Quality of life upgrades. There is a pet. You can. You can pay money to gain the ability to pet. The animals. Pay to pet. Okay. I know what we're getting. 
so much cool stuff in there. Whoa. I'll come back later. Just face out of existence. <laughs> Is that red though? Does that look red? I feel like that's orange still. But I guess it's red. Did I not equip it? Oh, I thought I equipped it. Oh, we gotta equip it here. There we go. <laughs> I look sharp. So, do you think he physically equips the pin on his body? Let's see. Oh, bummer. He doesn't actually equip the pin. Wait, wait a minute. Nah. So cool, though. Oh, look at that ball. Look at that. It's it's kind of magenta. Still looks pretty cool. So there's not really a run button. There's a there's a bo wobbly ball <laughs> rolling button. How do we get up there? Oh, wait a minute. There's an upgrade up there. Got some new gadgets available in my shop for testing. I, I mean, for Whoa. they're totally safe. Not available to interns. I can't obviously. double jump on this thing. So if I do, consider buying nope. a suit. <laughs> I was trying to get clever. I thought if you go on this and pop it midair, that you can then double jump. Consider buying but you a can. suit, kid. There's gotta be another way around to that. Consider buying a suit, kid. Uh, God damn it! I'll, I'll buy what I want. Yep. That's all he's gotta say. Just criticizing. This is a pretty cool hub world. It's a lot going on in it. Look at the guys are just levitating up there. Everyone's just levitating. What is this? This ridiculous uh, mural back here. Wait, wait. Scanning for fingerprint. Oh, is this, this the elevator? Oh, there actually is a bowling alley. Did you see the way Agent Forsyth stormed through here? Wow! A bowling alley. Wow! A psychic bowling alley. Wow! Amazing. Can we actually access open. it? Not yet. God damn it. Please explain. Wow. Here they are. The Psychic Six. Is it like the, the Electric Six? Paranormal experts Ford Crawler gathered together to form the Psychonauts. I read all about them in True Psychic Tales, number one. Tragically, none of them were the same after fighting Maligula. Crawler was the old the guy, right? Gruvia. Less tragically, but still well, upset. My mom used that issue of True Psychic Tales to line the floor of the world's smallest horse trailer. If she doesn't find a way to let off some steam soon, she's going to crack. Who's gonna she crack? a vacation. Hey, don't we all? Who's gonna crack? Why is it me? Compton Masters. He's any... Zulepathy? He can be a little dangerous if he gets overwhelmed. Which is often... Oh, do oh, that's Dogen's grandpa. Dogen was like the little... He was kind of like neurotic from the first game, I think. D Dogen was the little guy with the hat. I think. We had to protect. All interns, please report to my office for your mentorship There's assignment. Bob Zanotto, pioneer in human plant mentor. telepathy. And he's Lily's great uncle. I don't know if human plant telepathy would be very worthwhile. Like, if plants did have a consciousness, I feel like they wouldn't have a. Maybe that's cruel. But I don't feel like broccoli would have a lot to to say. Where does she get off? Helmut Fulbert explored a synthesis of psychic powers in the arts. Sadly, he was lost in the Battle of Gruvia. I'm trying to think of any vegetable oh, or plant be in class? that would have a lot to say. That's Cassiopeia. Best-selling author of Mind Swarm, expert in extreme multitasking and mental compartmentalization. She claimed to have independent control of every cell in her brain, controlling them like a swarm of bees. <laughs> okay. Wait, we can can we actually get a hairstyle? Wow. The psychonauts have their no. own hair salon? We have the goggles. Maybe so weird if I ask for the Sasha Nine. Doesn't look open yet, though. She's not even my boss. I like just kind of randomly eavesdropping on people's work drama. Oh, she definitely needs like she. <laughs> she definitely looks like she needs to go to the hair salon. <laughs> She's got the quarantine do going on. Think she can talk to me like that? Ooh, 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 money, money, money. 
My name is Otto Otto. Oh, Otto. Have you guys tried the new smooth ultra beige low pulp stock? No. What's so special about that? It's double sided. Wow. What will they think of next? I'm sorry if anyone is is a broccoli in the audience and was offended by my generalization. Hey, little agent. I think her hair is like the size of my body. That lady. Nah. Ooh. Not for the bacon. You Coffee are time. A honey pepper fool. Honey pepper boar bacon. Mm. Give me some of that. So, what's good today? Why do I bother making signs? This guy in the front looks like a muppet. It's impressive too because there's not, or at least I haven't noticed, there's not a lot of okay. repeat character models. There's been a few. As I say, <laughs> as I say that, I think these two are the same. <laughs> Wait, he's psychically. Oh my goodness. He's psychically window washing. Wow, you agents share recipes. You're just like us. Uh, yeah, right. Recipes. Look at that hair. I want that hair. Give me that hair. Hey. Hi, Dustin. Hey. Uh huh. Good dog, Dustin. Hey. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, my frames. Yeah, when I use abilities, sometimes the frames decide to die. Uh huh. Nah. Wait, will Hold I die here? <laughs> you. I'm glad they're consistent with his water, his water issue, his water curse. Oh, he can climb vines. Wow, they did. They added a good amount of mechanics and stuff. I gotta, I gotta float. The perspective's kind of interesting. Again already. I can't believe I'm hungry again. Now I'm hungry because he's talking about being hungry. God damn it. I wonder if the bacon ship Was this a full one or just a core? Ah, Ooh, some intern credits. A full one. What is this? I don't have a key. This is new. Agent stash, stash surplus resources in all sorts of places just in case. They're yours for the taking if you have a supply chest key. Where can we get one of those? This is a good spot to just peep on everyone and catch up on all the gossip. No one can see us. Ooh, toilet! Toilets! We cannot go in the toilets. Hey, let's. I'm gonna actually upgrade while I'm over here if I can get anything else. Ah, one of my regulars. We appreciate your business. What can we get? Oh, wait. I thought it said it increased my level. Oh, I can buy a pin. It's already combined. Wait, what? I feel like I'm too stupid for the tutorial. <laughs> so the side challenge marker was supposed to increase our rank, which it did, but I thought it was also the currency. Or something. Wait a minute! I can get a cap of pride fist for 300 monies. My wallet is not big enough for the cap of pride fist, but I know what we're going for. <laughs> Toilets! No bathroom breaks for interns. I still have to take a bathroom break for myself. <laughs> I should probably Whenever do that you now. Need more gear, the automatic will be here. I am not an intern, so I will abuse my, my privileges. I guess they don't. We have we haven't even gotten anyone coffee yet. Well, the new kid whose name I've already forgotten, come up to my office immediately. Rude. I, forget why I, let you into the I am program. being extremely <laughs> extremely productive down here. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute. What's this? Look, Lily. It's that rat we found on the Rhombus of Ruin mission. Throw back to the game that I didn't play. <laughs> it's not like you don't remember, Harold. We went through a lot together. <laughs> how, how the heck do we get up there? Maybe we can go up to the level above and drop down somehow? Why isn't anyone concerned about Agent 33? 
Because the platforms all look pretty level, and I can't really reach any of them. <laughs> yeah, upgrades, I think you're right. You're right, I just want to do everything right now. Hello. Not now, kid. Busy. You look incredibly busy, sir. I am sorry to take up a moment of your time. To have a nice conversation. It's kind of interesting that you have to press a button and put that kick these out of the tree. Then you don't just pick them up. I think that was an ability that you don't have to activate them. They just kind of get vacuumed to you. That was one of the things you could upgrade. I have this weird urge to go shopping. Ooh, visit the automatic to find wallet upgrades that increase your titanium capacity. Did I pick the wrong upgrade? Oh no, you, you can only Today's pick a color day. upgrade at first, I think. I was gonna say, if I picked a dang a cosmetic upgrade pocket. instead of a wallet upgrade, I'm gonna be mad. That ability sucks! Ho -ho. Wallet. Yes. Give. Oh, that's the hot stuff right there. We got we can fit many rookie in this wallet. <laughs> Dora Kai, what are you doing? Midweek stream, it's Psychonauts 2 release day. So I gotta play. How's your week going, Dork? Ta -ta. Welcome, welcome. Alright, Dork's here, so I gotta take a break. <laughs> Age is here, I gotta take a break. <laughs> Gang's all here, I gotta go pee. <laughs> I've had to pee for like an hour, but I was having too much fun with this game. Hi, H, how you doing? Um, you missed the start of the game, which was a level with a bunch of spooky teeth. And me not peeing, yes. Shrimp tea. <laughs> um, yeah, give me two minutes, guys. I'm gonna... Gonna mute this. Uh, this is a completely new game, Zork, and you don't really need to know the plot of the first one. Basically, we're an intern in, uh... In the Psychonauts... Psychonauts uh, headquarters at the moment, and we're trying to... Trying to... Gain clout and become an actual Psychonaut. Oh yeah, he made uh, he made mac and cheese age. Right, I hope you're proud of him. Um, yeah, give me a couple minutes, guys. I just gotta use the bathroom, and we'll be right back. We'll play some more. Some more sack on nuts, and maybe I'll turn off followers only mode in order to get immediately spoiled by some random person popping in. That's what I'm ex expecting to happen. Okay, be right back. I'll put the music on. Be right back. <laughs> Somebody say I 
Hey Tondo, how you doing? <laughs> Here in time for jams. Oh my god, it's like a cacophony. <laughs> yes. You made a fish stick mountain. That fish fish stick is always very difficult to say without it sounding like fish dicks. <laughs> Probably too soon. I'm gonna have a jerky. Don't mind me. Mm. You don't get a jerky. You just had dinner two seconds ago. I just dumped her freaking kibble. You- she just inhaled <laughs> her entire dinner. She's a vacuum. What are you gonna do? You just inhaled it all. Do you want me to do your ears? Is it time to do her ears? It is. Charlie's ears time. With the brain noises in the background. For max- max uh, effect. Very good. Oh, she running. <laughs> oh, you running. Shulk. All right. It is time for your ears. Her ears. E, it's age. It's it's E A W E A W U S. Ears. The appropriate um spelling. It was. So, this is why I want to get her the radioactive iodine treatment so I don't have to keep doing this twice a day, because she hates it! Yes. Oh, you're so good. You're so good, and I don't blame her because it seems uncomfortable. <laughs> you're so good, honey. You're so good. They, they try to do it very gently, but it's still not a pleasant experience. You guys are very good. kisses. <laughs> she's ready to be present. Like, her timing, is, she usually wants attention around the time that I'm supposed to do her ear medicine, which is good. Because I sometimes forget. I'm a bad owner. <laughs> yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. She, like, tries to flatten her ear, so that's why I know she's not a huge fan of it. Yeesh. Very good. All right. I just I want to sit like this forever, but we got video games to play, Bean. And I don't think she's gonna settle on my lap. All right, I'm gonna turn followers only mode off for a moment and probably immediately regret it. But uh, if people start spoiling stuff, I will turn it back on. I don't like having it on because a lot of people who have it on just do it so people follow their channel. But I do it mostly for spoilers. So if anyone is waiting in the wings to uh, spoil plot points of this game, like, and be an asshole, uh, now's your time. Or if you want to chat. <laughs> if you want to be friendly and chat. <laughs> How what? I don't know what that is. Woo! We mid roll. It's a nerve center. Is this like Evangelion? That, that type of nerve? Can I do anything to help Lily? Yeah, keep me from killing Jared here. I do you want a jerk? Weak points. She want a sniff? Ooh, she like it. Yeah, I'm loving this so far, Draconic. It's got the charm and the creativity of the first game, but they've updated it a little bit. They added some new stuff like a skill tree. And different cosmetics and and new levels, of course, that I think will uh, keep it fresh. And the combat feels a little less floaty too. Oh, you you played it already? I'm sure they'll let you up soon. I need to get up there right now so I can start dad's psych herb therapy. Psych herb therapy? What what kind of herb are we talking about? Why won't they let you upstairs? 
I don't know. Psychic sanitation or something? Nice bongo cap. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can we talk about that time we kissed? Hey, can we? Uh, what? Nothing. <laughs> Good talk, Willie. Well, I better get to intern orientation. You'll like Hollis, I think. She's strict, but deep down, she's really serious. Okay. Charlie is just chilling. Are you a good little content me? She had her dinner. She had her ewe is done. She's just living the life now. Scanning for thinker print. Area not accessible by interns. Rude! <laughs> I'm just gonna have to take someone else's brain so I can uh, access all these areas. That's what it's gonna come down to. It's the thing that makes people post unique messages, but it counts other users. Users' messages when checking for Attention doubles? I'm more worried about spoilers. Not so much like the hate raids, because the hate. If, if I were to get a hate raid, I would just put followers only back on. I don't think it would be too much of an issue. I'm more worried about some asshole coming in, being like, "Do you know Lily is Raz's mother?" <laughs> some stupid, like, totally unexpected plot point. Get that doche. <laughs> Smoilers! I have to collect three hundred money so I can get the cap of pride hand. as soon as humanly possible. Ooh, a challenge thing. Kappa Bright! You tried it last night just after it unlocked on Game Pass. Oh, nice! Did, uh, did you get further than I'm at in it? It's it's such a great deal on Game Pass, like not to sound like a shill, but I paid a dollar for a month, so <laughs> this is a sixty dollar game, full price. Ooh, we have choices. We'll go here first. Yeah, that one. That one. <laughs> one of the one of the many quality pride emotes on Twitch. The pride emotes are actually some of the best best free emotes that Twitch has given. Unlike the 2020 ones, absolute garbage. But Kappa, Kappa Pride is a classic. I'm sorry, Twilight. I hate to break it to you. This looks very zen. Are you comfy, Bean? Oh my goodness. You did the three month for a dollar. You're wondering if she can keep it going? Oh, you have an Xbox? Yeah, I don't- I feel like it's good because you can just kind of resume it. Woo! That's some serious, serious squishing. That's some good springs in these. Um, it, it's good because you can shut it down or pause it and just go back to it when there's something- a game that you really want to play. Like, I can't- I basically got it just for this. But it does ha it, it is pretty worthwhile. Like, there's a good amount of- Oh, wait a minute, is this the- Oh, is this the key for the- Oh, the secret cache? This is not how we get on here. We must sprawling. There we go. I'll bet this key goes to that supply chest I found. Do I remember where it is? Absolutely not. I think it was in the cafeteria. Time to get lost. What are the F2 A emotes? She's the best, Babby. Oh. She's so comfy. And when I go to bed at night, guys, when I go to bed at night and I lie Today down, the day. I call, I just, I just do that no matter where she is. And she hops up on the bed and body slams me. <laughs> she body, body slams me and then just starts purring. It's the cutest thing. Where did I put that stain? She's the best. She just takes her 12-pound chalk and it's just like... 
Oh, purr. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm so- I scared her. That's what it's like though when you body slam. It's what it's like. <laughs> I startled her. <laughs> you should give Boyfriend Dungeon a try? Oh, is it on Game Plus? Oh, I'm sorry. You were comfy. I know. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I was too aggressive. I was too aggressive. I'm trying to comfort. Boyfriend Dungeon honestly doesn't seem like my type of game. I don't really like that kind of uh, dungeon crawler stuff, but it, it, it looks pretty, pretty fun. For people who are into that. Uh, oh, the oh, the sword and the shield. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're kind of like moddy moots. Fish, stick, mountains. Is that like the Global Guts aggro crag? But fish sticks. Hey, bye, Charlie. Look at these peats. Look at these little peats. Look at them peats. Peats. Goodbye. There you go. Didn't seem interesting to you? It seems interesting again if that's like your thing. <laughs> if you like dating and you like dungeon crawlers. Fish sticks. Sticks. Fish fish sticks. Fish sticks. Dork, I saw it on the Monster Hunter Reddit today. Just thought of this. Just saw it earlier. Uh, there was a poll of most popular Monster Hunter Rise weapons. Uh, and Lance was, was the very last. <laughs> and I thought of you. I don't know why in uh, Monster Hunter Rise people do not like the lamp. I have the Catless Brass Knuckles. Oh my goodness, that is the best weapon that has ever existed. Can you date it? All new interns. Please report to my office for orientation. I don't have all day, new kid. I'm trying to, trying to orientate down here. Hello. Hey, Sonny. I feel like it would take more effort. We're running. I'm walking. I feel like it would take more effort to psychically power the watering can than just use your hands. When you lie down on your bed, your cat wakes up from sleeping on the windowsill and jumps over to lay up on your chest. Oh my goodness, that is extremely cute. We don't we don't deserve Excuse cats. Me, but do you know They're where too intern good. orientation is? Second floor, past the classroom. Thanks. If you pass the restrooms, you went the wrong way. What, are we recruiting from kindergartens now? He's 10, excuse me. He's like fourth grade, fifth grade. <laughs> Gee, thanks, you're welcome. You're welcome, Tork. It's okay, when, when you play uh, Rise on PC, you will double the amount of uh, people using the lance. Well, you will double the number. Whose name I've already forgotten. I'm trying to get to the place where I had the... Before I forget why I let you into the intern program. Was that a cafeteria? Where was that secret stash? It was oh, Sanubal. Find that mole yet, kid? Oh. oh. Where was it? It was like up here? Oh, it was up there. <laughs> Secrets. Excuse me. Dave doesn't stream Monster Hunter anymore, does he? I feel like everyone bounced off the Monster Hunter Rise super fast. It's it's kind of sad. If you go to the Monster Hunter Rise category, there's like 10 viewers. And it's not even been out a year. It's been out not, not even six months. Cut back on saturated fats. Excuse me, saturated fats are delicious and very satiating. I recommend eating more of them. Satur the whole demonization of saturated fats was is very tragic. They're not that bad for you. <laughs> Oh, Age, you missed the Metal Gear level. It was very brief, brief stealth at the, the start, or implied stealth. I don't understand, Lance. I, I certainly don't. What did we get? Ooh, big money. How much money? 25? <laughs> no, excuse me. We backtracked all that way to get 25. <laughs> oh, no. Not worth. 
None of the people that transform have to be romance. You can be friends with them all and not do any romance. That's good! For the asexual people out there, very good. But what about if you do want to romance the cat knuckles? Been a while since he's done it, your shirt will get at least a shirt revival when it goes to PC. Yeah, and uh, the G rank, whatever the G rank ends up being. Woo! Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Woo. I'm assuming, I'm guessing they're gonna announce the PC version pretty soon. Ah, Calico Stone, if you would just cooperate with our investigation. I can't. I know you're oh. scared, but if you could just tell me who. No, 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 no more question. <sighs> this crazy head here. Need any help, Sasha? Yes, from him. Me? Help me find the answers I need. Oh, so this is all my fault. Oh, it's like a movie projector in his head. <laughs> like a film projector, it looks like. Give a look through the games listings on Game Pass. Just been killing it with great indies lately. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of good stuff on there. The only thing is I, I made the grave mistake of purchase, purchasing uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate and becoming addicted to that. So anytime gaming outside of streaming, I'll probably be playing that for a bit. I'm supposed to be finding a job too. So I'm, try I'm trying to game less is, is the thing. But good to know there's a lot of good, good indies on there. You'll be playing it for PC. I'm gonna get it for PC too. I, I stopped playing it on Switch, so I don't get burnt out on it for PC. Excuse me, streamer, you need commentary about the game, but everyone's talking in the game. I don't want to talk over them. That's rude. Manners, okay? Ma manners. <laughs> I have no interest in Hades too. It looks it looks cool, but I'm not like a huge fan of super giant games. I had a bad like I feel like Pyre burnt me out on their stuff. Because it was conceptually cool, but not fun to play. Have any suspicions? No, that's the frustrating thing. I'm how sus. could anyone in the Psychonauts do this? And how could they keep it a secret? Maybe he just hatched this scheme on his own? He has no motivation. Oh, hello, Dad. Someone hired him. And, given his access to Truman, someone on the inside. So about Maligula. She's dead, Rasputin. Ford Cruller made sure of that. Nothing for you to worry about. At least we made it out of the rhombus of ruin. I like that he narrates Performed the choices well the field, <laughs> that we pick. So I'll don't make to sure read them all. Agent Forsyth finds out all about it in my report. Just as soon as I'm done here. Why do you think he won't cooperate? You seem to have such a big change of Excuse heart me. back in the rhombus. Your laptop might be able Someone to handle it, Sparkly. Him, hypnotically, to be unable to tell us, even if he wanted to. But who? I'll let you get back to the interrogation. Sorry I can't help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Smoking? Thank you. In a video game? In a children's video game? Is this rated T for Teen? A second. I think they have to rate it T for Teen if someone smokes, right? What am I missing? Anytime there's any okay, sort of drug use. Hey, is this normal, Sasha? All the lights flashing on your computer like this? Oh, yes. I like to leave it on demo mode for the ambiance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! Ooh, money. Break chairs, acquire currency. What is this? Hey, what's this thing? Stay away from that, please. Everything is tuned to my precise head size and shape. I'm afraid a head like yours would damage the machine irreparably. Is he insulting my head? I think I have one of the most normal looking heads in this establishment. To be honest. This is what you do as an intern, you just run around and wreck shit. Hey, this is just like the brain tumbler you had at camp. Yes, but stand back. It's due for a thorough delousing. Mm. If I can ever convince Hollis to pay for it. Delicious lice. The way Twitch is going crazy over Hades is what keeps you away from it. They're pretty much over it by now, aren't they? It was popular for a while. People liked... Is there, isn't there some sort of like romance aspect to it? It's not rated E for e-girls. E Excuse me. I'll take that card. <laughs> I like 
it has a little momentum too when you stop holding the stick, it like rolls on its own. Look at that beautiful uh, tree. Is that tree pose? What is it? What is this pose? The ba Look at the balance. Look at him wiggling. Balancing himself. Good idle animation. A lot of cool details. Oh, that water cooler. <laughs> oh, the water actually comes out of it too. I didn't notice that before. <sighs> Trying to get that money. Get the books. Throw books, because why not? I don't know if this is a good idea to just keep smacking things. Oh, wait a minute. So let me actually see what this does. Can we jump? I love these things. Rank up to upgrade. Oh, okay. It's these upgrades. Derp. I was wondering why I couldn't upgrade. It can be a light dating sim. Hades? And it's also gonna, well, you gotta play through several times to get the true ending, right? So what should we even upgrade? I have three points. Uh, punch, air, bro oh, ground pound, and dodge attack. Fling objects with increased force. Hold to charge your blast for bigger explosion. Your levitation ball will damage enemies if you slam into them at high speeds. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Pyrokinesis burns a larger area. Okay, I'm gonna get the slamming. Feels like I got a little more spring in my levitation. Cool. You can now build up speed on your levitation ball and, to, and slam into enemies to inflict damage. For good. For Halloween, are you gonna be an e-girl? I wanna be your e-girl. Ooh, -oh. I could wear the lobster costume. I, I could wear... A lobster costume. Oh, I got, speaking of Halloween, I got a cute sweater in the mail today. Oh my goodness. Goodness. I am so, I'm so excited for Halloween. I want, <laughs> look at the sweater. Look at how cute this is. It's ghosts. It's ghosts! I want to wear it now, but it's August and it's a billion degrees. Look at the ghosts. So I got these ghosts, ghosts, and I got this ghost. And we're basically ready for, uh, for Halloween. And then I have the tree. Ooh, spooky. I gotta put it somewhere where Charlie won't accidentally puke on it, though. So probably should keep it in the closet. She's, uh, she's good. She's usually, she's been good with the puking lately, but I'm a little, a little, uh, concerned. I came in like a rabbit man. But yeah, I could wear the lobster costume like that one year where I wore the lobster costume and played Phantasmagoria. That was fun. Back when we were a retro streamer. <laughs> Eagle girl. <laughs> Just like, Rrr. Eagle noises. <laughs> Screeching. That is a cute sweater. Thank you. I can't wait to wear it. It's, it looks super comfy. Feels super comfy. It's good to be excited about things in this, this timeline. I will take any small thing to be excited about. <laughs> Pouncy ball. Oh, I don't have enough points. All right, let's get this. The dodge attack. Wait, did I... I guess I, oh, I already have the ground pound. And... I'll save the last one. Oh yeah, it's def definitely good to have something to look forward to. With everything going on. And Halloween, even though it won't be as exciting. Halloween's always fun. Like, even if you just hang out at home and watch horror movies. Speaking of which, movie night. I know we've talked about this. A lot, but I posted a movie in the Movie Night channel called Killer Karaoke that looks incredibly stupid, and I think it would probably be a good Movie Night movie, so... Planning on that probably sometime very soon. Maybe... maybe next week. I don't know if a weeknight... I don't know what works for you guys, like weeknight or weekend for it. Yep. If it matters. Oh, 
Alright, so what was I what the heck am I actually supposed to be doing? I don't remember. <laughs> uh not here, not here. Not here. Report to the classroom, okay. Where is the others? To the classroom! Ah, oh, you look just like my nephew. <laughs> Why is everyone here so dang Come rude? Back to the automatic. Many new items in stock. Some brand new items here. Aw oh, man, look at all this cool stuff. Break into dance when you're standing around doing zilch. Sets your psi blast to stun if you'd rather not do damage. I wonder if you can do a pacifist run. Very interesting. Still kind of want this though. Full spectrum fists though. <laughs> I just realized they're called rain blows. <laughs> rain blows. Oh, my rank isn't nearly high enough, so I can't access them anyway. So might as well just get something else. So you need the current. You need the currency and the rank to be able to get certain stuff. Okay. Well. I'll get this when I'll get the petting when we actually see animals. Works out most of the time whenever. What happened with rubber movie suggestion? Uh, I don't. I just, honestly, uh, to be honest, I just don't want to watch rubber. <laughs> Rank twelve. Here we come. We gotta find so much stuff. Oh, items. Dream fluffs? Wait, what is this? Extra big wallet. Health items. Oh, I almost got another rank. I need one more card, then we can combine. Rubber and teeth and tumble purchases. Response. I mean, we could hey, watch more than out. one movie, oh, depending on how, sorry. I how long Killer whoa. Carrier wow. is. That's mean! Did he hurt you, baby? I'm not a baby. Yeah, you are. Question is, who's this new kid? She's so My edgy. My name is Raz, and I'm the new intern. That's ridiculous. I didn't ask for a new intern. Intern program's full. Sorry, kid. He is clumsy. He'd probably get us all killed. And he's mean. Well, kid, we give it a fair shot, and it looks like it just didn't work out. Better luck next year. Guys, quit picking on the new kid. We were all new once, in case you forgot. I think he'll fit in just fine. In fact, I think he'll look cute in our uniform. Let's take him to the closet. He is very small compared to the rest of these people. Hey, Liz, hey can? you okay, you my Rusty? Sakanasu! What's the holdup? It's finally here. It's Raz. I was just wondering, if there's an intern uniform, how come you guys aren't wearing it? Very small bean. Oh, well, we're level two. Now just hand out your clothes and we'll get you that uniform. Oh, Can't is this haze? Hand the uniform first? We're getting hazed. <laughs> oh, no, silly. Cool. We need to take your clothes and measure them so we can get you a uniform that fits. Unless you want us to come in there and measure you. No, no. Here you go. Just hurry up, okay? Amazing. It's cold in here and I'm practically Major naked. Draconic. Uh oh. Guys? Oh, come on! This is embarrassing in so many ways. He's in his little long johns. <laughs> That's mean. Hazing is not not good. Hazing is, is not, not a good practice. I remember when I was in college, there was actually a fraternity that was doing hazing, and they made their initiates crawl through the dining hall on their hands and knees and chant like the the freaking fraternity's name i was wondering what the hell was going on until someone told me they were uh, i can make a side hazing. challenge marker back at the automatic cool got him come in and measure me is the chad response he's 10 years old he's 10 years old he's innocent and pure Mind swarm. I learned that in the tutorial. Light him up. 
It says gullible on the ceiling. Really? <laughs> you don't say. To get into our club, you need to cause a thermonuclear disaster. I can only imagine what the hazing is like now in pandemic times. If schools actually have frats open. Actually, that's a good question. You think fraternities are allowed at schools? I guess probably depends on the place if they care about COVID or not. <laughs> this is a bomb. Ooh, wait a minute. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. I don't have enough momentum. Must use hands. YouTube, the gates of hell. Oh yeah, you're talking about that. I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't used the wall jump much, but I'm assuming it's gonna be more useful later. It's probably gonna be some trickier platforming. Thick base. Hazing gets cracked down on a lot. A lot more now. It doesn't stop it from happening, but it makes it harder for it to happen. Yeah, I wonder, like, with social media blowing up and TikTok and stuff, it, it, I feel like it would almost make it have uh, people have more incentive to do it so they could post it to social media. But at the same time, then you have the evidence there that they did it. Do not have a key. Ooh! It's right there! <laughs> Much challenge. What did we get? Stop! Is it always 25 stuff? 25 currencies that we get in there? I wonder if they, they put more stuff in. in. Ooh! This is a suspiciously raz sized hole. How do I go in it? It's probably like you go to the door and then say, oh, we gotta find another way to go. We can't get in this way. I don't know the code. Rats. Yep. Oh, sorry, Harold. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I should think about how I'm using that word. Oh my god, what his little it, his little jacket! Do you know the code? Is the code in there, Harold? I'm too big to go in there. Do we have to mind control Harold? If only I could see what you see in there. Hey, that reminds me. Yas. Hazing is written off as a number of things and is of the lighter variety like a scavenger con. I don't know, it really depends on the fraternity. Some of them are real assholes about it. <laughs> He's got a little bomber jacket. <laughs> All right. Clairvoyance. Uh, we will put this... there. In. Time to see the yes. world as you see it, Harold. <laughs> Look! Look at his little nose! Oh my goodness! I'm not controlling him, but... I'm a big mouse. I'm a person in a mouse suit. That's it, Harold! 0726. Yes, I'm the mouse. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I can- oh, this is me moving. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even have to type it in. Camera? Hello? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, oh no. We creeping? Man, that would be weird, clair clairvoyance, where you could just be inside someone else's head and see how they see you. Through their eyes. Their interpretation of you. I feel like that'd be a very uncomfortable experience. Is there anything down here? No. Yep. In the hole? We got him, right where we want him, and yet we still can't extract the information we need. I don't Have know, tried the if Sasha's voice is the same? Of course, no effect. I feel like his Deep voice sounds a lot different. It put him to sleep. Maybe he just got older. <laughs> Medulla retooler. That was the first thing. Sasha, you have to let me do more. 
You know it's because of me. That yeah, the, the details are very. I mean, if I hadn't. Very good. The whole I was saying earlier, the whole world is very cohesive. Find you some new clothes. Sorry if the fit is a little off. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Now, uh, tell us again how you ended up outside in your underwear. Oh, you know, I was sort of going undercover. He's just well, like you did, Agent Mentalis, in True Psychic Tales number 62, when you used your defibrillator to hypnotize 16 trans troopers at once. Oh, please. That old yarn. Oh, they embellished so many details in that version. But in fact, it was 17 troopers. Well, love to chat, but uh, I gotta make like a brain and bounce. What? If you're ever looking for just the right tool for the job, come see me in I don't know, the workshop. I don't know about your brain. Even the best psychonauts require a little assistance now and then. This is the man, the myth, the legend. Now, if you'll excuse me, Rasmus, Behind the, the storm. Get back to the matter Otto himself. No, oh, no. I didn't bend the spoons, mommy. <laughs> Oh, I love going through the car wash. Oh, someone's Don't someone's gotta be a sham. It's gotta be some twist. Oh, wait a minute. We can randomly clairvoyant people. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. <laughs> Follow the arrow. Oh. That would work. Is this even legal? <laughs> what? Oh, it's money. Nice. We're a secret Thank agent. You. More power. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, nothing. It is not the spoon Sounds that like bends, but yourself. Thank you for uh, for Matrix quotes. This freaking hipster. That was a dirty trick you pulled. I want my clothes back. You know you're right. I'm sorry. And I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to let you finish my asset recovery mission. Great, grunt, grunt Why work. do I feel like Thank I'm going to end up naked in a closet again? Yeah, they're probably going to do a lot of my jerks with the clairvoyance. My is to track down this list of missing Psychonaut assets. Mission critical assets. So, like a scavenger hunt? No. If you think like a child, you will do a child's work. Finish this mission, and we'll know you're ready for your clothes back. I already have clothes. I'm good. I don't. I don't need to do this. We are fully clothed. In fact, we look much improved in the new clothes. Your extra. Your internship will sometimes present extra credit opportunities. You can track these optional missions here. This looks, looks like a good optional. place to track my side missions. Ooh. So I don't think we have to collect this all at once. I think this is just over time as we're exploring things. It'll be filled in probably. Hopefully. Because in the first game, as they had that arrowhead collecting at the start, where you had to collect some large amount of arrowheads hidden around the camp, and it got really annoying. I think they probably learned from that. Are you not supposed to tap the glass? Can I clear no, it's the fish? The opposite. You're supposed to tap on the glass to keep their heart rates up. <laughs> in this predator-free environment, their heart rates get dangerously slow. Huh. Plus, they love it. I mean, look at him jump. <laughs> I like how the pufferfish's little buck teeth. They had scavenger rod hey, as well. They had the, uh, like the dowsing okay. rod that you, you could use to find them underground, I remember. But what was the scavenger hunt? <sighs> I'm Outside really of the arrowheads. Internal orientation now. I better get to the class right away. Hmm. All right, we're super late. Okay, let's go. Hi. Hey. hey, cutie. Oh, is she hitting on me? I know I look very tall and suave while standing on this ball, this ball, but <laughs> I am ten years old. Oh, oh, it's it's Harold, it's, it's Harold. What have you found out about the mole? Nothing. I like how he's just creeping around. <laughs> Check these new pins. Check. The very latest. Level up. I need to buy a core. Where do we buy the core? Let's combine that psychor with your card so you combine. can pick up. Ta -da -da. 
check her? I, I don't think it. Don't be a stranger. I don't think it showed the clairvoyance icon, but I can try. Oh, it lets you do. <sighs> Why am I a cigarette machine? <laughs> Out what? bowling. <laughs> oh, a smoke show at me? I don't know, I'm very tiny. I like how his, his face is in the like slot on the bottom. <laughs> so, okay, that's good to know you can call clairvoyance people, even if they didn't have the icon over their head. I guess it's if they have that swirly Experts thing. Agree. It's just not safe to use clairvoyance. Without She's addicted. She's a dick. Pins. She's addicted to. Which which horrible uh, early two thousand Zima band was that? Busy. Once I get I my like, pirate radio dick. station I'm going, I'm gonna to. have a few, not many DJ jobs open. Oh yeah, what's it pay? A lot in exposure. Plus, ah. you get free music. Paid in exposure. Pass. Pass. Look, I, I really need you on the channel. How about a trade? Okay, switch mentor assignments with me. You take Compton, I get Mia. No one comes between me Mia. and Mia, Lizzie. No one. Eh. He's got a crush. If Raz is 10 in this game, how old was he in the first game? I think he was 9. I d or 10. I don't think this game takes place very far after the first game. Did someone say something about pirate radio? No. Yes. <laughs> Morris is doing it, and it's totally against the rules, and he's gonna get kicked out of the Psychonauts. Lizzie, you're fired. I feel Come like on. Lizzie is Aubrey Plaza. This is like a very, I'm getting real Aubrey Plaza vibes from this character. Can I be a pirate radio DJ? What's your area of musical expertise? Well, I grew up in the circus, so most of what I know is calliope music. I see. Looks like you don't need me anymore, Morris. No, she's good. Listen, her design too. To you, Can I read her brain? <laughs> well, this is not nice. I guess we can read everyone's brain. Did they tell me they did not do do a different vision for every character in this game? Okay, because <laughs> that would be a ridiculous. Scary measures, Oleander. Every department is affected. My PMBB. No time for pet You're projects, Mori. You think this is saving you money? Look at these little beds. They look extremely uncomfortable. How much is it gonna cost you to rebuild this place if Maligula destroys it in a tidal wave? Oh, they're levitating. They're slightly levitating. That's cool. Ooh, a thing. Collect the things. Can't leave this card lying around. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, ooh, a full one. I've got enough credit to upgrade one of my side cards. Nice. What should we upgrade? Ooh, wrong menu. Let's ooh. Reveal hidden object. Oh, so it shows hidden objects too? Oh. Interesting. I don't know if that one's very good to upgrade. Pouncy ball. I'm gonna get this one because this is a mobility upgrade. So we can use to get sick air. Burn the whiteboard. That's a good idea. Let's see. Gotta re-equip the pyrokinesis. I'll try to burn this one too. That one doesn't burn. Does it burn? It will not burn. And Coach is not happy. It did look like something was hidden behind it, but apparently not. Air mattresses. Back to clairvoyance. It seemed like they're, they're, one of the upgrades made Clairvoyant usable in combat as like a defensive ability. So what is this one? Oh. 
What upgrade did I get? <laughs> what did it do again? Hold, oh, hold X. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Woo! That's fun. I think the mouse just kind of follows us around. He's there for the moral support. All right, I'm here. Get just in time. Get a hold of yourself, Oleander. Go on fighting Maligula without my battle bot, cheapskates. Hey, I'm with you. Letting him build a battle anything is probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh, right, new intern. Thought I told you not to be late. Doesn't matter. You need a mentor. Let me see who's I like left. that they actually animate the eye that's hidden Am most I of the time. Mia or Sasha on a mission? She doesn't just have no. like a dead eye staring You're in the mailroom. Your mentor is Nick John Smith. Mailroom? Nick John Smith? <laughs> I've never heard of an agent John Smith. Nick's not an agent. He's not even psychic. He's just good at sorting mail. You'll love Nick. Everybody does. But somehow the mail room? I don't believe Lord her. Lord Curler himself worked in that mail room. You could learn a lot there. For one thing, how to be on time. Okay. His how goggles can are so shiny. Access to the mail room. Now scoot. I've got a base to run and a budget to balance. We are moving on up already. Do I get to lick the envelopes? Yep. Sneaky music. Oh, this looks like it can be burned. I think you can probably burn pretty much any painting. If the tutorial was to be no, ne never mind. Never mind. Is that supposed to be abstract art of her? You wish your goggles were shiny. Do you have goggles? Are you a cyber goth? No? That's sad. He wipes his nose for the idle animation. Very cute. Oh wait, can I clarify it's her? Chick. Like Metal Gear, but he's got goggles on the top of the <laughs> Baby Chick. It's so cute. You have some welding goggles. Oh, this is very, uh, very industrial. Do -do 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 -do. We have to clairvoyance everyone. It's too good not to. It's so good. <laughs> Artifact storage. What? Oh, it's already in here. Okay, where am I going? Just casually popping hey. out of a hole in the ground. Okay. Uh, how's your dad? Oh, what did she see? Razzas. I gotta go get him some therapy plant stats. How'd you get that hatch open? Oh, it's got a fingerprint combination. I can teach it to you. Come here. It's more than just a number. You kind of have to feel it. Oh. Do you feel it? Can you feel it, yes. Mr. Krabs? Good. Are, you, are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Tell anybody you got it from me, and you're dead. Bye! Oh, I don't get to, I don't get to clairvoyance her. Also, she could probably tell. Can they tell when we're clairvoyancing them? The auto bon. Now you can access Otto's brain only network for oh, quick travel around the mother lobe and other local areas. Soon, Duray. It's not like I wanted to share brain space with you or anything. B Baka. Let's go! It's auto magic! No, this is auto, auto magic. Wait, where's the machine? Where, where's the machine? Why is it allowed? This is. Candy's new pins, the very latest. 
Can you feel it? Wow. Smash your love ball to the ground when you press X while in the air. That seems fun. What's this one? I don't have the brain block upgrade. I don't have the upgrade. I'm gonna get this this slamming ball. Oh no, I, I can't. I'm not level 12. Never mind. I'm not all about the ball. Excuse me. Excuse me! This is a family friendly game. Language. There could be children watching. You never know. Come back anytime. Come back anytime. Hmm. That See this? Aura yeah, this. Telling oh, okay. Perspective on the world is especially so the ones who have the icon have a different points. thing. <laughs> they will locate something. <laughs> yep. This is sure worth seeing. I'm very glad that's a. <laughs> At least tomorrow's payday. My, my face when the bacon hot off the hot off the frying pan. <laughs> Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I like how the, they get a made the point of package. him being worth reading, but it's just bacon. Oh, this is what we look like to everyone out here, I think. Oh. I don't get paid enough for this. I'll tell you that twice. So I think these ones may be different. The ones with the spirally stuff. No. He still has an icon over All his head, though, doesn't he? Who have not checked in with their mentor must do so immediately. There must be something Your hidden in the bacon. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. I can't move. It's like you're in the bacon. It feels very, it's very immersive, like bacon Maybe ASMR. Maybe I'll get a sweet severance pack. The crackling. Green is fried. He's just said no thoughts, only bacon. To the mail room. So what was the slam? I think Almost had it. If we do I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. <laughs> Don't be a side boar. Get yourself a side That's not it. What was the Whoa, was my ability. Oh, I didn't equip it. Oh, I didn't buy it. <laughs> See, I'm brain dead. I didn't get I didn't get Scanning the slam. For thinker print. Gonna lay it down. Have a good night, Reese. I'm gonna wrap up soon anyway. Thanks for hanging out. You might have oh maybe see something through the bacon. Yeah, it's, it's definitely hiding something. Because they really want you to clairvoyance him. Some mentors are telling me that some interns have not yet contacted them for their intern. I feel contact. called out. I won't name names, but I will soon. I'm going to the mailroom. Mr. Mail John room. Smith? Hello? But maybe we do get him bacon. New intern here. Is that Harold without his jacket? Whoops. That was for someone else. What's he doing? Is that another random rat? What a mess! What's it mean? I wasn't really oh no 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 no! <laughs> I meant to clear voyance. Exit. Oh, he's usually so organized. Is that because I accidentally hit him? Should I tell somebody? It's not oh, Harold. Like it's just trouble. a random rat. It's not Harold. It's fine. Seems like he moves based on where you go. You can chase him around. No. Never mind. How could Nick? The one issue I'm having with the game so far is the the different things they're saying getting cut off randomly. You missed a- you, 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 you missed a- ooh, look at all this mail! What the heck is that? Is Nick? I can't remember the last- Ooh. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. 
Maybe we're supposed to send a rat through the slots? I hope Nick's okay. Where is Nick? I can't remember the last time I saw him. I'm almost there. You're you thinking very Everything loud. Everything okay in here? Who are you? I'm, uh, Nick John Smith's new intern. Oh, so you're the one not sorting all this mail. Wait! Better get all this mail sorted, quick! You're making Nick look bad. <laughs> oh god, do we actually have to sort mail? New mission, sort the mail. Probably gonna like psychic power lift it up. <laughs> so I was trying to grab. There's something under there. There's a key. There's a key. So Nick John Smith is actually a person. The way they were talking about him just seemed like someone they're trying to, to sort this mail if I'm going pawn to us off on who may not actually exist. Do sort mail. Ah! Oh my god, it's just a stupid joke. It's stupid. Very stupid. Am I the outgoing mail? Okay, we actually have to sort the mail. <laughs> Is there a red one? I'm not sure where the red one goes. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm at like Chuck E. Cheese or something. <laughs> it's like a Chuck E. Cheese game. This is the, the telekinesis tutorial. Oh, I was wondering what would happen if we messed up. It's good that it has a little bit of an auto lock on too. Man, psychic powers would make some jobs, some real jobs, a hell of a lot easier. Anything requiring heavy lifting. What the heck? This package is addressed to Truman Zanato. Hey, this might be important. I'd better bring it to Truman. Technically, this is official psych. I'd better deliver this to Truman quick. Heavy. What the heck did Truman order here? Ouch. Where is he? That did some damage. I don't know where I'm going. Where is Truman Zanato? Assuming not in the mailroom. Come on, Rasputin, precious cargo. <laughs> Just like slam it against absolutely everything. Package, you're doing it's a person. The... Hey, you guys gotta check this out. The new kid killed Nick. He's fine. He's alive, but he's brainless. Ooh. <gasps> no. What killing a sick monster would steal Nick's brain? I mean, Nick! Maybe. He saw something he shouldn't have. But why keep his body alive? And why mail it to the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? It could be a warning. Hey guys, does the Lady <laughs> Lactopus so Casino mean anything to you? Isn't that where we sent Agent 33? To investigate suspected delusionist activity? Agent 33 is two days late with her status update. I'll get the jet. I'll pack the go case. I'll stay here and protect the children. Oh. What? Aren't we She's all so tall. going on the mission? We could use you in tactical command, Agent Forsyth. Or in very small. Perfect. And maybe the interns would benefit from... It's not safe. Not while we have a double agent among us. I'll take her place. I've heard the buffet there is shockingly reasonable. Well, if you reconsider, meet us on the jet pad within the hour. Can't we just... No, all of you, to the intern's bay. 
Now! I've got some training exercises planned today that are both informative and safe. Sus. Last Who's one the there imposter? has to delouse the brain tumbler. When the imposter among us is sus. TV. Oh. Look at all the packing peanuts. What a waste. I'll bet those guys took Nick's body back to the mail. Harold, tell me the That's truth. Harold. Are you the mole? Excuse me, he's a rat. Found. Yeah. He's a he's a rat. How do I save yeah. the game? But you know that Nick was all heart anyway. <laughs> I think it auto saves, but I'm gonna wrap up because it's ten o'clock. Suddenly. Ten o'clock. Everyone is sus. Everyone. It's this it's I don't know. It's, I don't think it's gonna be the car any of the characters from the last game. I feel like that would be too too much of a betrayal. GG game looks amazing. Balls. This game is so good so far. It's uh I hope you guys enjoyed watching it for those uh, who are not fans of the first game. It's very cute. It's got a lot of character and it feels good to play. They definitely updated it where the gameplay feels again a little less floaty, a little more solid. Um I'll be back Sunday. I don't know if I'll play more of this or Grime or something totally different. This game isn't super long, but I don't know if I can finish it on stream. I don't think I can finish Grime on stream. It's also like, <laughs> I feel like if I, if I try to finish Grime on stream, it's gonna take months as much as I love the game. So might play more of this next time, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thanks everyone for uh, for lurking, for subbing, for chatting. Thank you Onimusha for modding. Thank you H for being VIP. Yeah, thank you everyone for hanging out. I'm gonna find someone to host uh on a wednesday night who's streaming and yeah i'll be back hopefully sunday we'll play something it might be something new sometimes we finish games on stream not very often <laughs> who should we raid let's see let's see uh let's see we can raid i think i raided we didn't raid last time I would raid nines, but she's probably wrapping up. She doesn't stream this late. Uh... You guys want to raid Captain Krabs? He's doing a DJ night. Captain Krabs is doing a DJ night or Box is playing Bully Scholarship Edition. Do you guys feel like watching a VTuber Crab DJ? Or uh, Box play Bully? Anyone have a preference? Clap? Are we clapping? Are we clapping? Oh, oh, Shoko! Oh my god, there's too many people! Shoko's streaming! Never mind! I never get to read Shoko. <laughs> Bully music is way too repetitive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I, I noticed that too. It's nothing to do with box. It's just the, the game. I noticed it was that one, like, bass, mu bass line. Um, yeah, I'm gonna- I'll read Shoko. He is playing Seed of Life, which looked pretty cool. The exploration kind of puzzle game. And he was stopped by- he stopped by here earlier. So, you're gonna say hi to Shoko Shoko lot. Yes, okay. Raid Shoko. It is not cool. Age, <laughs> <H>, get out. <laughs> come, come, come with the raid, but also get out at the same time. <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you later. Do not ask, do not ask, do not subject Shoko to that.